Well, hello and good afternoon, good evening, and in some cases, good morning. Welcome, everyone, to Primetime Gaming with Mr. Boomstick and Friends. And yes, we have returned. Hopefully, everyone had an incredible Thanksgiving weekend with friends and family. Uh, you know, obviously, everyone was safe. Everyone filled their bellies real well. People are still eating leftovers. And of course, you went a little buck wild for Black Friday when you're supposed to be buying gifts for everyone else. You're buying gifts for yourself. I'm guilty of it. We're going to open up the show with it because I walked away with quite a pretty awesome find, quite several finds, actually. We're going to get into everyone, what they found on Black Friday because, man, there were some really good sales. And, folks, what's crazy, and if Noof Nukem is listening, uh, the physical – uh, it, the phys physical games was the way to go because they were literally a third of the price as opposed to digital. And you know what? I'm not that old that I can't get off the couch to drop a disc into my Series X because, listen, I'd rather pay 19 than 43 or even sometimes 50 in some locations for a digital versus a physical. You know what? At least I have something I can pawn. Uh, when selling on the selling myself on the corner for the next Xbox doesn't work. So there you go. Anyway, anyway, pause. I want to introduce somebody that is making his debut on this program. Uh, he is an up and coming podcaster. You've seen him in the community. I could not wait to get him on today's show. This is something that uh, Double Barrel Gaming does on a regular basis. We introduce new voices to this community. I think it's super, super important. In the next couple of weeks, folks, you're going to have someone uh, new joining us as a guest. Obviously, um, uh, Sour Blow Gaming is going to be the next one to join us. And obviously, we're going to have our very good friend all the way from Hawaii, Bango Mango, the following week. And we're going to keep introducing new voices uh, to you so you can check out their podcast. But Umbra, welcome, brother. Finally, we got you on the program. We were able to get our schedules together. We crossed our T's. We dotted our I's. And here you are, man. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me, Boom. And thank you, uh, you know, the rest of the panel and everyone else here for showing up, too. You know, it's amazing because my first time actually getting on a podcast was with uh, who I call Professor K or something here and, and Duke Everborn. <laughs> and it's it's really amazing, like, how how dope uh, the Xbox side of things are when it comes to community, right? Having you guys uh, welcome me to the show. And, boom, you've been doing this for a while. I've been watching you for, Thank few, you, sir. I think, a few years, actually. Yes, I just made four years on YouTube on uh, November 3rd, as a matter of fact. I remember. I saw that show. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, thank you. It was almost treated like a non-event by you. Like, you know what? Didn't I just make four years? Like, you, yeah. like, you forgot about your anniversary almost. <laughs> but uh, it's just dope. I appreciate you guys uh, welcoming, welcoming me in and, like, other, you know, upstarts, I suppose, uh, into, you know, with open arms like that for all of you guys doing that. I appreciate that. Well, listen, it, it, it's what community is supposed to. I, I built this show uh, uh, with the groundwork of it being a community first podcast. It's super important to introduce people, uh, to have people on the show. Now, whether that you have one sub or 100,000, everyone is treated equally. And I think that uh, everyone on this panel uh, would agree that putting the community first, getting new voices out there uh, to listen to positive voices. That's the key, because everyone could be an asshole and get 100,000 subs. And unfortunately, as much as I dislike that, YouTube seems to cheer that on through the algorithm. And it's very disappointing. So, you know, we, we, I, the way I'm doing it is, you know, the old fashioned way. It's considered the grassroots way. You know, you put your nose down, you put your head down, you work hard. Eventually, someone's going to give you a break. And many, 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 many years ago, that break came in the form of Mooch from um crossfire podcast on fridays now granted there's been a lot of controversy with that show over the years but i can never forget the fact that i reached out to him as a someone that listened to the program and got on got my chance to get on there and originally it was expected or at least for me i was expected only to be a one-time thing i go over to the bucket list boom i check it off i got onto a podcast and it turned out that that was the path to me creating a multitude of shows some have failed some have succeeded and i'm always adding new things to the program and i always promised myself that 
I was going to make it my business to give everyone and anyone that wants a shot on this show, as long as you're positive, as long as you don't curse, as long as you come in here to be, you know, to to talk about games and be and have fun about doing it, then you're going to get a shot on my show, regardless of whether you have any experience or all the experience in the world. And it's our pleasure to have you here. But it, wandering Dutch, I got to introduce you now. I got some secret stuff that Dutch and was was uh, that sh shared with the class. We can't share. Dutch, your work behind the scenes is impeccable. Uh, it, it, it's just unbelievable how talented you are. But more so on like myself, how you're welcoming. First of all, welcome to the program, brother. How the heck are you, and what you've been up to? Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, I've uh, had the pleasure of jumping onto Case and his uh, podcast yes. again, and having some really good conversations. <laughs> Obviously, the Game and Circle is another amazingly welcoming podcast. Um, uh, it's just awesome to watch them grow as well, and uh, to, much to uh, the detriment of Everborn's growth. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say no, it. We have to fix me. <laughs> I didn't say it right away. Right I'll, I'll create you a new intro. Don't worry, we'll get you up. <laughs> All I'm saying is, uh, Kay Sante's yeah. channel started going up once Dutch did the intro, and I didn't get an intro yet. That's all I'm saying. Wow. I'm not blaming you, Dutch. I'm just saying. I'll get you an intro. I'll get you an intro. I'll get you an intro. I'll, I'll share the little. My mom, my, if anything is my, that my mom taught me is that shame gets results. So public shaming. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't. I yeah, can't. I've uh, created an, uh, uh, just a little video that's going to release on the 7th of, of December. Obviously the day before a specific game comes out. So um, obviously what game would that possibly it. be, um, Dutch? I didn't think anything else was coming out for oh, the rest of the oh. year. Hey, hey, hey! I know the name of the game, the Gunk. That's there you right, go. Sir. Thank you. That is yeah. right. <laughs> there we go. That is right. We're looking all yep. for. We're all going to be playing awesome. multiplayer Gunk. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> gunk <laughs> out on my birthday, by the way. Oh, very, very nice. Awesome. Very cool. nice. Well, Dutch, yeah, we can't wait yeah, to see it. Absolutely um, awesome. Again, community is a big thing, like you mentioned, and it's yeah. awesome to see new faces on here. Um, yep. That's one thing we're going to bring into next year when we kind of go into the uh the new year we're going to start bringing on uh, the the guests and the and the new faces and things again um and obviously give people a platform yeah well i mean you do a great job at, at that for sure and uh we obviously love the growth of what you're doing over there and the and you're seeing uh significant growth because of how you conduct yourself and how your members on your panel conduct yourself so well, well done as always brother it's great to have you here and I can't wait to get into the show. Uh, Kay Asante, uh, I was lurking in the chat on uh, Saturday. Again, you're seeing growth every time you do a show, and there's a reason for it. Uh, you and Everborn really do bring it, and it's a fun show. It's a, it's a fun show to listen to. There's always laughing, and I think that that is the key. How the heck are you, man? This is the best part of my day, man. Monday sucks until I until you know the seven o'clock rolls around my time and I get to join the brethren and we just have a good time on on this show. So I'm happy to be here again. Once again, much much appreciated. Much thanks to to the Wandering Dutch for for stopping by on Saturday. We had a great time as as you guys uh, uh, were able to check out. You know, Mr. Everborn was there in full effect as he usually is. So you know, uh, I have to give credit where it's due. Couldn't do it without my man. So I, I appreciate you, good sir. So yes, it was a real good time. And yeah, you know, we're just hanging out. Uh, as some may notice I am standing right now because this is the, this is the new, the new newness. I, I'm standing we'll right now. We'll see newness. how long that lasts. <laughs> we'll see how long. Yeah, eventually you'll see it go like this. <laughs> no, so so but I, I, I see, here's, I, this is a small story and not to cut uh, it go here. Ahead. But uh, Kay Asante calls me and tells me like, yeah, I'm, re I'm redesigning the office. I got this mm -hmm. new standing desk. I said, welcome to the club. <laughs> uh, but you understand, because I got a standing desk here too. You're not going to stand. So every time he calls me and tells me he's at his desk, I ask him, but are you standing now? So now- I spent all day sitting, so now I'm standing. So shut, <laughs> shut your mouth. Standing. I told him, you are going to work and you are going to sit down. Everybody you know. with a standing desk ends up sitting down at that desk. But we'll see but how no, it's, 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 it's fun. Hey, man, 
I'm, 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 I'm trying. All right, calm yourself. I'm trying. He's trying so, yes. to keep those old legs young again. Damn it! You, you understand. You understand. I, I, I'm, try, I'm understand trying. I'm trying to. You know, more than most. I'm the oldest guy on this damn panel. I'm fighting. <laughs> I'm fighting that mission. That mission. Anti dad bod. You know, we got. We got to keep I it love, moving. It's all yeah, good. Listen, so that's thank right. you guys that's for being here. And we, well, let's get into all of this. This is great. Next up is the mag. He's here on time, folks. Yes, he His is. job allowed him out a little earlier. I think they might have let the chain go. Mag, listen, <laughs> brother. It is great to have you here on time. Uh, obviously, you know, listen, when when, when you when you get to the show late, well, you know, real life, you know, is, is certainly more important than a silly podcast. But we're happy to have you, brother. Hopefully, you were you were able to take advantage of some of the big sales that they had over the weekend, mm-hmm. uh, because you know obviously we know the the, ca- the Canadian prices versus the U.S. prices, and they're just <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, they're ridiculous. <laughs> um, but uh, welcome, dude. How you feeling? Yes. Well, unlike Sour Puss Asante, I love Mondays. <laughs> oh, I love that name. <laughs> that's it. That's your new name. <laughs> it is. Okay. Listen, you know listen, why? Yeah, that's, because that's, that's what you see when you think me. <laughs> Mondays are Fridays for an executive chef, so it is my oh, weekend yeah. now. So, and uh, ah. also, uh, I do the opposite of a Sunday. I stand for 12 hours a day, so I need to sit my old ass down when we start this show. So, <laughs> here I am sitting with a broken back, ready to go. We got some great topics. Yes, we're going to talk about some Black Friday. We're going to talk about some other things, of course. But I'm super happy to be here. Panel, Umbra, welcome, sir. And uh, guys, let's have a great show tonight. Thank you so much. Of course, brother. And last and no way least, uh, Everborn Saga He's putting it down, folks. The uh, the Kickstarter is going to be ending soon. If you haven't uh, joined seven up, seven days to, left. Seven days. Seven so days. So we'll we'll get we'll get the full breakdown. Um, obviously, uh, towards the end of the show, because I want you to kind of you know you know pimp your wares, if you will. But listen, man, how are you? How was your holiday weekend? Holiday weekend was good. Did a lot of eating, but I I, I, I didn't. Uh, what the hell's going on? There we go. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, did a lot of eating, but not a lot of spending. I didn't do any Black Friday or um... somebody boo this man. I don't. I, I, I. This. This is why I have to get that Steam Deck going because the boo's gonna boo. No, no, <laughs> no Cyber Monday either for me. I can't believe uh, my ears. It's been all work, but I, I've actually been spending a lot of time writing this uh, the upcoming chapter that we're getting ready to release. Had writer's block for a little while. I've been. I've been in too many spaces. Haven't been able to focus. But I've been getting back to reading. I'm reading uh, the Wheel of Time uh, book nice. one again because we're going to have Randall Thor on at some point on on the reel, so we can discuss Very that. Very nice. Uh, so I'm just uh, prepping again. I read the book a few years ago, so I'm doing that. The creative juices are 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 flowing again, and uh, I'm I am in full uh, Christmas decorations mode. Yes, so I just, I, I, that's one thing I did do today. I did get more Christmas lights for the front of the house, so that's going to be fun. If I don't burn the house down with the lights, so we'll see how yes. that goes. Well, well, certainly don't do that, folks. Listen, before we get into uh, the, what we what we got on, um, you know, Black Friday, everyone's going to share what they bought. I definitely I want to share something with the class uh, now. Dinero Panero, if you don't know who he is, uh, Dinero uh, Primero which is obviously in Spanish means money first, which is hilarious. Does, uh, is so that how it works? Do you pay him the money first before the things? I would give this man <laughs> thousands first and not worry about it because what you're about to see, folks, what I'm about to share with you is the new intro for the X-Vlog uh, series. Uh, that's going to be – be, I'll be recording episode four this Wednesday. Uh, I'm not going to give you of what I'm recording and what it's about because I want to save that for the surprise. But take a look at this incredible work. Once again, from Dinero Primero. Check it out. Pretty ridiculous. Love it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, his work. Imagine that Elmo, that Elmo meme with the with the fire behind him. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah if you ever looking if you're looking for someone to do your artwork you're looking for somebody to do banners uh thumbnails intros like that hit him up uh, on um on uh on the on the twitters uh all of this information is in every one of the videos i do uh obviously he is uh a very busy man but he you know t- let, let him know that i sent you and uh you know check out if you if you need that kind of work done 
But listen, folks, um, I want to get into, you know, there's a bit of a fun topic to open up the show. We got a 170 people already here. It's only 15 minutes into the show. Um, I did a little spending. Now, I didn't get crazy. You know, I didn't spend hundreds of dollars. Some people do that. Uh, but I did wind up walking away with um, with uh, a few things that were pretty interesting. The biggest score for me, let's see if I can find it over here. Yeah, here it goes. I found this, folks. This is the 20th anniversary Xbox headset. And I walked nice. into my local GameStop, and not only was it on sale, but this is normally 100 bucks. It was $60, folks. And I had a $10 coupon, which wound up being only 50 bucks for this thing. That's the big score of the day. Um, one of the big games I picked up that I really wanted because I'm a Ubisoft fan is Riders Republic. I paid 20 bucks for it. Brand new. Um, I, went, I, I went out and also got the Razer Universal Charger for the 20th anniversary controller and the Forza Horizon 5 version of that. And the other four games I picked up. Now, these are a little bit older. Or well, one is new. Biomutant I always wanted but wasn't paying yeah. full price. Right? I paid 20 bucks for that. Uh, Crash Team Racing for when my nephew comes over because obviously he loves Mario Kart. And I like it too. Uh, I bought Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania Anniversary. Uh, and obviously, uh, everyone should be happy with that because that's a Sega game. And the one thing I really wanted that I was not going to pay 60 bucks for that I paid uh, 25 for the deluxe edition is the Hot Wheels Unleashed. That looks really good. Uh, and I, I grew up playing with Hot Wheels as a kid, so I was like, well, you know what? I don't know what, we're gonna, what if Force is going to you know, redo that. You know, We're going to get another Hot Wheels edition, but that game did look kind of dope. So that, that was my spending. It wasn't crazy, but it was, you know, I thought it walked away very satisfied. But Kaysande, you said that you might have went off the deep end a little bit. What did you <laughs> pick up? Yeah. So, so okay, I will blame my wife first and foremost because, wow, uh, my, yeah, I'm blaming her. Uh, usually, usually, uh, I, I, I tend to buy anything that's important, like or expensive myself, right? I don't want anybody else to buy that for me. But the mic that you are now seeing me using is a mic that she, she bought for me. In addition, hearing, hearing you use, yeah, well, did you, well, you see me using it and you hear me using it as well. <laughs> uh, um, and and she also was able to score me the the Xbox mini fridge. So uh, and she gave that to me early because she knew that if she hadn't done that, I probably would have found it and bought it myself. So that required a mic arm, which was really cool. And, and I won't show you all that, but more specific to gaming, which which you know, uh, well, podcasting and gaming. Let, let's let's turn off the blur real quick. So Stream Deck got uh, bought that a good Black Friday deal. And for the little ones, and this is specific to the gaming stuff. This Very, for those who oh, don't know, yes, yes. Mario Home Circuit came yes. out last year, did not buy it last year because you it required two switches and two of these sets in order to play. And th this literally sets for those who are who aren't aware, it sets actual physical uh boundaries around your home yep. and then through ar uh ar cameras you're able to see it on your screen this year they literally finally did it right and they made it 50 dollars per set and now you can use one switch in split screen mode oh that's so i'm great. like sold and i bought yeah. two of them so nice. i bought the, the luigi and the mario and you know so uh, and i'm like literally itching to see when am i going to give these to the kids this is like like you know buying a bowling ball for your wife because you're definitely going to use it all by yourself. <laughs> you know? The kids are going to love it, but yeah, we're, we're, we're totally going to get into it. I might not even wait till Christmas, but yeah. Those were my major, major scores. I will say, though, and, and this might be a question for the rest of the panel, like as far as gaming is concerned, it's because of, because of Game Pass and all this other stuff in my backlog, I barely buy any games when it comes to, to, to at this time. But I got to say, the Mafia trilogy is looking so enticing at thirty dollars uh, on the Xbox. The remake of one it's was still there, so looking at me. How about Good. that? Because I've I've played I've played them all um, when they first came out, but it's been so long that I've forgotten. I liked three, like, but three was probably my least favorite of them. Like you know, I've seen the remake and how great you know it something? looks and all that. It's making me like itching my finger to hit that buy, but I'm literally looking at it. As the remake think. of one <laughs> is brilliant. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. But I'm going to tell you this. It's funny. We have the opposite effect. Mm. I absolutely loved three. 
I loved it too. Absolutely loved the okay. main character. I loved his. Oh yeah, story I, I love the character as well. Yes, but you it's know just more fresh more? in my mind. You know Same what I love more than anything? Mm. That soundtrack. Yeah, I just drove around listening, just bumping, to bumping the beats. Hours, hours okay. of that soundtrack is yeah unbelievably good. Like it should have won awesome. awards mm. for how good that soundtrack was. So if I were to hit that 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 buy button right now, nobody would nobody would fault I me. I would right? cheer it's, you it's on. Literally Sterling right there. Was... Do it. I, I think I might do that because I need to replay so one and two series. again. I, I I tell you this. Uh, that's one, the problem, Mag. That's the problem. That's it's going to show Game up on Pass Game Pass the minute I buy it. I, that's always the case. <laughs> Perfect. Uh -huh. that case, buy it so that I can The play one game that I that I didn't get on the list. I don't know how many people are, are hip to this. Obviously, mm -hmm. Tempest Sun would be here more to talk about it. He's going to be coming a little bit later. Tales mm -hmm. of Arise, I really wanted, uh, but it was still like forty seven dollars, and I'm like, I know if I buy this, there's two problems. One, when the hell am I going to play it? Right, that's number one. And number two, mm -hmm. the minute I buy this. This yep. is going to drop in the Game Pass. I guarantee it. So I, was, I, I have a suggestion for everyone on this front. Uh, if you do not want to pay full price for a game or you want to wait for it to go into Game Pass, just wait till I buy it because that is just my <laughs> luck. As soon as I buy a game like Clockwork, the week later, it's either in Game Pass or half price. I am a jinx. So I say that Perfect. to say... Just pay attention to the games I'm buying. That's how you know when your discount's coming. Uh, uh, okay, Asante. Nix mm -hmm. in the chat is asking, where can you find the Mafia trilogy for that price? Right now, on Xbox Live, literally oh, the Xbox store, nice. it's $29.99. Wow, like, right bucks, now. That, I'm, yeah, I'm literally crazy. looking at it, itching my finger on that damn buy button. Does that include <laughs> the... Because the, they only remade the first one, right? All three. It, all three it, it's all three. Yeah, no, it's no, a no. trilogy. The first All one's three. a remake. Uh, mm -hmm. Second and third are just remasters. Are remasters. remasters yes. yes. The first, uh, one's the, the first one really remake. needed the remake. Yeah, the first oh, one did. needed that remake. Yeah. But, it, but but you know something? It was a remake done in a way that when you when you when you pop it on, you're gonna mm -hmm. be like, I can't believe the job that they did on this game. Like it, See, the and cars and the people and the and the and the atmosphere. It's so well done. It's bonkers. The, yeah. the reason why I want to buy the trilogy is because if you would just buy Mafia 1, which is the one I really want to it's see for this remaster, the, uh, right now on sale, Mafia 1 is $20. Yes. Well, so for 10 extra dollars, you're getting the second and third one for like for five bucks a piece, yeah. so to speak. So it's kind of worth the 30 bucks for all three. So I'm definitely going to hit that buy button. Good, good, good on you. Good <laughs> yeah, on you. For sure. Uh, Wandering Dutch, ha did you take advantage of any of the sales going on? I did not know. No, primarily because Black Friday always falls just m days before payday over here. Ah, uh, yep, me. that 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 happened <laughs> to me more times than not. Yep. Um. So yeah, it's but to be honest, on on the other side as well, it's been an absolute barnstormer year for for things that we've already got. Um. I'm knee deep in controllers. I've got oh my god, yeah, me too. I've got all the peripherals I need. Game Pass is pumping out games left, right, and center. Like, it's like I, there is nothing I need to play. I mean, I've got Far Cry Six sitting there that was left in the dust when Hot Falls Horizon came out. So, <laughs> yeah, I really want to finish playing. Yeah, now this is the problem. I've got Forza Horizon. <laughs> I'm playing the multiplayer on Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite drops again next week for the campaign, so I'm not yes. going to touch it. Then the gunk drops again a couple of weeks later. So mm -hmm. there's that um, uh, uh, th th there's a flying game that's coming out tomorrow and no, on the third on Friday. Yeah. Uh, Corvus. I think I know talking about as well. Chorus. 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 Yeah. Chorus. Okay. Cor yeah. yeah. Chorus is dropping. That's in Game Pass. Yep. That looks awesome as well. That looks. Did you see the uh, IGN had like a, an eight minute preview of it? It looks really good. Yeah. Like crazy good. Yeah, vis visually impressive. It's it's one of them games as well that I don't think. Uh, well, I won't be putting like loads of hardcore hours into it. I'll be playing like an hour here and there in the chorus. Um, but it will be a nice little palate cleanser between Halo, sure. Forza, and. <laughs> but no, but yeah, it's um like I say, we've we've had a really really good year I think across the board and uh, started the year off a little bit slow, but. To specifically this this last four months on xbox it's been 
just non-stop. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, I am good to go. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, speaking of which, the one other little tidbit, you, you know, you mentioned Game Pass completely slipped my mind. I had, uh, they had it on sale uh, three months of Ultimate for 25 bucks. Oh, uh, and everyone had it. I thought it was just one. I thought it was just Amazon. I did the same. I did the but same. They, yep. they, they had they had it. So what I wound up doing is I bought six of them. I got mm-hmm. six. Uh, I bought uh, six from um, Amazon. And then out of nowhere, Mrs. Boom says, you know, uh, here, I got a surprise for you. She drops me another six. Wow. So I, I'm I'm paid up until November of 2023, folks. Ah. Uh, and yeah, you know, you when 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 it's that cheap, when it's you know, you're getting three months of ultimate, it's normally forty five bucks. You you, you got to jump on that. And and, so, and so Everborn and I were going back and forth. I think we're both like up to twenty twenty four right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm October twenty twenty four, and I got to wait. And I'm November uh, twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty three. I think I think I'm. Tw- I got to check. I, it might be twenty twenty four. I I actually is think there, I am yeah. twenty twenty four. Yeah. Limit on it? There's a yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah there's a three, three year limit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, year I'm, I'm yes. Uh, I'm checking that November third of all. I'm uh, November seventh. November 3rd, 2024. So yeah, <laughs> you got to you got to jump you got to jump on that because you know why, yeah. why not? You know you know the games are coming, right? So I they could take my money now. I know I'm going to win later. Uh Mag. Yes, sir. What did you did you go crazy? Did you you know, did you go medium? <laughs> did you you go light? What 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 stole your money? I went light and the only reason why well, I, I'll give you a multitude of reasons. Um multitude of reasons are First world problems, folks. I already have everything I wanted. Uh, so what the, I mean, you know, Dutch said, it. I'm buried in controllers. I don't need anything there. Uh, my kids got uh, their switches. Don't need anything there. They got tons of games. And 90% of the time they're playing Fortnite anyway. So free to play, right? So there was that under control. Although, Asante, I do want to talk to you um, privately about this mm. uh, about this Mario Kart thing. I want to find out what mm. it's like. Let me know what it is. Because I'm interested in maybe. Might be a Christmas present from Santa, right? So uh, I'll ask you about that later. It's now, really cool. I, I have it. It's really cool. I, I think, well, and we got two switches in the house, right? So I think that would be pretty cool for them. Uh, but anyways, the only requirement is floor space. You need well, to have good floor space. Yeah, I have that. that. That's not a problem. Uh, what yeah. I did get is uh, I bought a new SD card for my. Uh, I just got a new 4K uh, 60 FPS camera. And um, nice. so I needed a new, um, uh, I, I got a, the SD card. I got a SanDisk Ultra Plus for $110 off. Whoa. And it was, yeah, from Best Buy. It was a one-day sale only, and it was 29 bucks instead Holy of 140 God, That's That's a steal. That's dude. awesome. Dude, it was yeah. crazy. I, I, like, I could not pass that up. And it was a 256 gig one, too. Um, so anyway, it's, a, it's remarkable. So I got that. Uh, as for everything else, I mean, what the hell am I going to buy? Like a Roomba? For like 60% off, like it's I'm not gonna buy anything. <laughs> the other thing is I'm looking at Battlefield 24, not Garbage. gonna buy it because two reasons A sucks, I don't care what anybody says, and B, it's coming to Game Pass before March. Okay, so there's no that. doubt about it, though. No uh, Call of Duty it. was like 30 bucks off or something like that. And I was like, you'd have to pay me 30 bucks to play that trash. There you go. So there's that. Um, now the other thing is um, you know, uh, actually uh um, my goodness, uh, Dutch was saying the same thing. Far Cry Six. As soon as uh, Forza came out, I kind of, it kind of got lost in the mix, right? So I kind of like, I'll get back to it, and then I'll dedicate like a hundred hours to that game, kind of thing, right? And then I got Guardians of the Galaxy because the FOMO just grabbed me by the throat, and uh, I'm on chapter. And you 13. won't regret it. You, you won't, won't regret, regret it. it. It's, it's amazing. It's, no, no, I'm not regretting it because I'm on chapter 13, and like, holy, crap. hey, 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 Mag, you know what I regret yes. though? Paying full price for it. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah, I know. But, but you know what, though? Like, the there. first, like, it was a bit of a slog at first, but now I'm getting into it. Then, let's face it, guys. Everybody's playing Halo. I mean, I, I've been playing almost nothing else but Halo. Uh, and, and now i got to get back to those other games. So I'm like, why am I going to buy new games that I'm not going to play? By the time I actually get to those games, they'll be 20 bucks again, right? Like in the spring or something like that. Uh, Forza, as well, has been playing all that. Uh, the other thing is, too, is I'm uh, holding out hope, is that I'm hearing rumors about Mass Effect maybe coming to game pass at some point right and so uh just in case it doesn't i need everborn to purchase it immediately so oh, no, no, no 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 boom you're good i'm sorry uh, mag you're good i already i already bought it perfect <laughs> it should be also guys you heard it here for, first game pass before christmas mass effect is coming to game pass before christmas because everyone bought it but uh anyways 
other than that, I got to tell you, that's all I got uh, was just the SD card. And that was pretty much it because honestly, I, I have everything I need. And yeah. uh, I know it sounds really stupid, but um, uh, Game Pass is now part of our house expense. So okay. we didn't even notice it. So when you posted that stuff about the deals or whatever, I saw it. And I was just like, you know what? Eh, just whatever. Just let it go. And so I didn't stack up. I, I wasn't worried about it. Uh, and I'm just, that was it. So it was pretty boring Black Friday for me. Uh, but you know what the thing is? You know, we podcast. We're on YouTube. We do all. We do videos. We do whatever we do, right? 90% of the time, in order to stay in the game, we've already got to have all that stuff. Yeah, it's true. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You've got to have that stuff about how are you going to talk about the product or about a, a specific, you know, a specific topic or anything if you don't have the stuff. Hence uh, the fact that Mag, yeah. I don't know if you know this. If you've been in the spaces before, you know that doesn't stop anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> apparently, you know what? Gets a, you get a gold medal for that tonight, dude, because you are 100% correct. Uh, and the last thing I was going to say is that I didn't realize, I didn't think of it at the time because I was so – Hell bent on getting that PS5 at some point. That I got, I did get the PS5, and I got the unicorn one. Uh, I got the digital PS5, right? Well, boy, didn't that bite me in the bum now because the digital games mm -hmm. are like eighty bucks on it's, sale. It's absurd. Mm -hmm. It's absurd. And I'm like, you. what? Eighty That's bucks get you. for a year old game? Are Whereas you crazy? The discs the discs are like they're Dude, flying cheap. off the shelves, bro. They're flying off the shelves, like, shelf. like frisbees. Yeah. And you could buy Ratchet and Clank for twenty bucks. Uh, you could buy uh, Demon Souls for nineteen ninety nine. Whatever, same thing, mm -hmm. twenty bucks, that kind of thing, right? You go to the store; they're on sale in Canada for eighty mm -hmm. bucks instead That's of one hundred and five. Ridiculous! I'm like, you guys are out of control, man. So you know, P uh, PlayStation, you you didn't get a dime out of me. To, uh, this this Black Friday and, and of course you know what like I said I screwed myself because I thought about it after I'm like you're an idiot he said you should have got that disc version because at least even if it wasn't for Black Friday you go on Facebook Marketplace a week after these games come out dudes are selling them for forty bucks yeah hundred percent right? you know and listen so it, it's it's never too late to sell your PS5 digital you'll get someone to pay you potentially a penny, a penny more a than penny, it's worth and maybe more than it's worth. Yep. I mean, well, honestly, it's still brand new. I barely touched the damn thing. Yeah, it was what I'm saying. Like, you can hold out because Sony hasn't released anything, not released anything in 2021. Yeah. 2022 is probably not until uh, I think it's February well, 4 February, Horizon. I'm the so. Legacy of Thieves, Uncharted 4. I you know, have to get it. I have I, to get um, it. A co worker of mine today, when I was on one of my conference calls, we were talking about this whole Black Friday stuff. And he's super <laughs> excited because he's like, I, you know, I, my kids have been begging me for this thing for a year. I got him a PS5. I said, where'd you get it from? He says, eBay. I say, ew. Um, I said, well, how much did you get it for? $1,000. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. And he was excited about this. He didn't say it with, like, shame in his face. Well, it's for like, the kids. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, 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 I for if, if it was me, I'd lie in a fire pit for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, if my uh, nephew wanted something and I could get it, and I had to pay through the nose to get it to see his smile. I, listen, I, I did the same thing last you Christmas, know. but but it was two hundred dollars above asking. I, lo I love my was, kids. I don't love them a thousand dollar console. Love them. No, I'm sorry. I, I just sorry, uh, no. I, what I do. I have little kids. kids. I have teenagers that work for me who are literally attached to PCs, like at all times, right? So I put out the feelers, and I'm like, "Boys, hundred bucks to anybody who gets me a PS5 within two days. Oh, nice. I have a PS5. Whoa, nice." And I gave him a hundred bucks. I just they got hundred bucks in cash, do. and for a seventeen year old kid, a <laughs> hundred bucks is a lot of money. They took it no problem because of course they did. They were like, "We're just buying PS5s for fun." <laughs> you know well, what I mean? <laughs> I mean, listen. Good, good stuff. I'm glad that you didn't you, you didn't give Sony any of your money because they're a bunch, they're they're a bunch of ripoffs. And obviously, you know, you sell sell that system. So that's funny because uh, somebody said in the chat. I think it was uh, who was it here? Let me see who it was. Um, uh, where was it? Said so, someone said it in the chat. I don't know. I, I think it was Kirby Louise. Don't encourage scalping. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> We're not really scalping. He's just like secondhand selling it, and maybe yeah. he'll make a buck or two. Uh, real quick, Boss Mod Lethal Papa. Obviously, he keeps these streets safe for you, the viewer. You come here, you can hang out, you can just enjoy yourself, and there's no there's no jerkwads, right? Uh, well, he asks the question: 
what's wrong with a rumba? They're great. And you know something? <laughs> he is not wrong. I don't have it. Again, we, we, we remember, folks, the uprising is coming, and those rumbas will kill you in your sleep. So just be careful True. that they're exactly. housed. But uh, Umbra, our special guest, what what did you walk away? Did, did you go crazy? Did you catch up on games you might have missed out on? You know, it's, it's, it's strange because I'm a mix – among like uh like mag and um dutch because my payday uh kind of came just before it fortunately but i had to take care of bills and then i have i kind of yeah then i have i kind of have everything i want too so it's kind of like eh right so uh, there are some games i need to get though i still need to get resident evil 8 i still need to get like you know valhalla such and such so i will get those but i did buy and i'm a big on i'm big on family like you like you guys so I bought uh, the Jackbox Party Pack. Oh, that's a cool one. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. I got, Always I got a good the, purchase. I got the third one, though. I know they have eight on sale, too. So they have mm-hmm. the whole series on sale. But I bought part three. And, uh, you know, me and the family, we'll come together sometimes on the weekend and we'll play that. I still play Rock Band 2 with the family. Oh, that's so, cool. <laughs> so that's that awesome. right there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I want to point out, though, uh, there will be some games I will buy, like uh, Resident Evil 8 and so on and so forth. Uh, for Cyber Week they have going right now. And that doesn't end until like three days from now. So if you all are not aware of that, they have a sale still going right now for these games. Oh, nice. Yeah, so like for instance, for you, Boom, you were talking about Tales of Arise. I believe it's forty one ninety nine. although that's not the greatest of sales, but it's like forty one ninety nine right now. And uh, Valhalla is $24. The show is eight ninety nine. dollars Sheesh. Wow. So like, yeah, so if you all are not aware of that, you can still find good sales on these games or pretty decent sales. At least some games are 50% off. So some 40, whatever, et cetera. So, yeah. yeah. Hey, can I, can I just add, um, I, I think it's really Im- important. I think what you said, Umbra and what you said, Mag, um, I think the, the, the man who is content with his life is one step closer to enlightenment. Um, I, I'm only half joking too. There's something to be said by you know acknowledging that you have what you need. Oh and yeah, I think, that's a, I think that's important. So shout yeah, out joke to you. Aside, absolutely right. Absolutely right. Confucius, Indeed. ever born, say. Yeah, that's oh. right. Listen, he, 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 I mean, well, he's also known as the slanderous one. I don't know if he can be known as Confucius as well. I don't know. <laughs> Confucius, I'll, I'll the slanderous reports. one. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's good. That's good. <laughs> well, in fact, what was the name you gave uh, uh, K Sante? Oh, here you right? go. Our there you go. Sante. Our there you go. That's right. Oh, yeah, because when you good. see my face, that's what you think, right? Yeah. Oh, he's always puss, smiling. That's what's so funny. It's like he's, <laughs> oh, the, oh, my God. God. he's the direct that's opposite it. of sourpuss. But that's know, like that, calling that me great. tiny. Good job. Wait, <laughs> your, wait till your introduction on Thursday, sir. Oh, here <laughs> we go. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know what? Hey, listen, uh, so you guys, I, I, I dropped something into the, I dropped something into the uh, into the D, uh, DM. I hope you guys saw it. If you guys didn't know, again, it's not video game related. If you're an mm-hmm. MCU fan, uh, they have confirmed um, that Spider Man is not yes. leaving the you MCU. Loose lips, mm-hmm. Amy Pascal. Uh, yeah, Amy Pascal. Uh, she and you know something good on her. Uh, he's actually uh, on on the cusp of signing a five picture deal. Uh, three of which are going to be his college days in the MCU, and the other two, I believe, are going to be the crossover with Venom. Uh, so, yeah, yes. so five picture deal for him, and he is going to cash in because I love that kid, <laughs> and uh, I love the MCU, and and I'm not going to see Spider Man, folks. Uh, t- too much Corona stuff going on, and I'm not trying to die for Spider Man. I-, I don't have mm. uh, web blood, so uh, yeah, I'm Overgrown. gonna have to. You have to probably. kill to get those Thursday tickets. I'll tell you yeah. that. Yeah, it's fine. It is what it is. But listen, real quick, I want to shout out Drawn TJ with the outstanding and first super chat of the evening. Five dollars. He says, "Hi, booming panel. This is going to be a fire show, indeed. It is Drawn TJ, and thank you for being here. And of course, always showing your generosity. And a good friend, generous friend of the show, Sir X Men, drops a very generous two dollars super chat and says, "Never buy a console from eBay uh, like a warranty." Yeah, yeah, you got to be careful because you might just get a bunch of bricks that says console and you're going to get ripped off. But hopefully you use PayPal and they will reimburse you and then sue that uh, that person. But I want to continue, folks. Now, this is this is a small story. This has this comes to us um, via um, Windows Central. Uh, a good friend of my sh- uh, of, of the community has has exploded on the scene as an incredible artist, Ben Kenobi of Twitter, who has been pumping out incredible 
uh, our pieces of artwork regarding Xbox. Sent me a picture. Folks, uh, Halo Infinite is out on these streets. The physical version of the game is out there. People are playing it literally right freaking now. And, all and I another PSA you, to wow. add to that. You can pre-install it. I, I just spoilers. saw the message an hour ago. Yes. Watch, for spoilers. Spoilers. Yes. Yes. Watch for spoilers. Yeah. Instant FOMO right now. Yeah. 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 Be careful with the spoilers because can you very see the jealousy in my face? Well, I mean, look, <laughs> you know, I, 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 listen, I, I'd love to play right now. I'm playing, listen, I'm yeah, playing multiplayer, too. so I'm happy. But just, folks, be careful out there uh, because most people are probably going to play it and they're gonna under and they're, and they're gonna respect that you don't want to give away spoilers. There are a hateful mongers of the community. Yeah. Uh, what now? I'm not saying they're PlayStation guys or gals. It's just hateful people who just don't like to see Xbox fans excited. And very similar to The Last of Us, how that was spoiled. Someone is going to ruin this for everyone. So just you know, take go into your Twitter, uh, you know, you, you know, your socials, and take out words, Halo Infinite, and all that other stuff. If you don't want to get the short end of the stick, me, I, I don't know anything. Um, you know, I know what what we've seen in the dealer videos, the Rand videos. You know, of course, the Iron Lords, and of course, Xbox Era, um, and a few others that I got a chance to preview with. So we 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 know some things, but we don't know any of the big things. Uh, so yeah, just just give you guys uh, the heads up, but. That is kind of where we're going to get to the big story of the night. Um, I hopefully you are enjoying today's show. Um, and uh, if you are already here, we have almost 300 people here, which is freaking awesome. Um, and I can't thank you enough for supporting Double Barrel Gaming. Folks, we are just under 800 away from 10K. Now, I know 800 is a lot, but anything big can happen. And I can just pop right over that 10K mark uh, like the Iron Lords. Like obviously Xbox era, like BitCloud Gaming did uh, on Breakfast Boom a couple of months ago. Uh, I want to join that club, and I can do that with your help. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, again, there's no fluff here, folks. You see what you get, and this is the kind of fun we have each and every show. Three live shows, and now a video on demand uh, series called X Vlog, which is taped on Wednesday, put out there as a premiere. And it's just me talking about Xbox, one topic, and you know, 15, 20 minutes to give you my thoughts. I, I, I can't wait to talk about the next, uh, the next subject. It's going to be a lot of fun. But, folks, with Black Friday, with the rollout or the startup of the holidays and Thanksgiving here in the country, in this country, in the U.S., um, we all sit back and have watched for years – Sony dominate the conversation when it comes to consoles sold. If you remember when they put out that $199 PlayStation 4 with Spider-Man, it basically broke all kinds of records and for good reason. I mean, the console was gorgeous and it was Spider-Man 2018. How could you go wrong for 200 bucks? I mean, if you haven't played Spider-Man 2018, I don't know what you're waiting for if you're an MCU fan. It's glorious. In my opinion, it's probably some of the best work Insomniac has ever done. Miles Morales is no slouch. Loved it. Loved, loved, loved Miles' story. And I cannot wait for when they team up in a couple of years. I believe we're going to get a Christmas 2023, if I'm not mistaken. But folks, now we're going to talk about Xbox and the little guy that could has dominated in a way that I don't think you saw coming, I don't think we saw coming, and more importantly, I don't think Microsoft saw coming, and I'm going to bring up a report on my screen. This comes directly from Jez Corden, friend of this show, friend of the community, who states in a report, Xbox Series S dominated PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X at retail during Black Friday. And folks, this th he gets the information. Uh, this comes to us from Adobe's Digital uh, Economy Index that claims the Xbox Series S has become the most dominant console this Black Friday. Now, folks, before we get into question, you know, getting into what the panel has to think about this and what this actually means for Xbox. There are some detractors out there. There are some people saying, and I saw it, and I blocked them because I think it's just it's just <laughs> stupidity. The only reason why this happened is because you can't find a PS5, which I think is a load of it. Uh, there's a reason 
why the $300 little man that could uh, is selling out everywhere it goes. Now, some people are saying that Microsoft specifically really put the oomph behind the uh, the production of these to get them out for Black Friday. And I think that, you know, they might be onto something. But, uh, you know, listen, uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to try and break this down in the best way possible. Um, and listen, regardless of whether or not there are PS5s or Xbox Series X, you can't argue the fact that this console is selling like hotcakes. And as, and again, when you think about it, if I'm not sure if you saw the, the the you know the small writing when they were talking about it, they were offering all new users of or or you know uh, purchasers of this console three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for one buck or one dollar, folks. I think it's a big deal. Umbra, I want to go to you first because you are our special guest. Uh, listen, again, we've seen Microsoft struggle in recent years. Uh, now we're starting to see them. I mean, they, they have dominated the conversation in 2021. I would dare say that this might be the best year for Xbox in a decade. Um, they have quietly put themselves in position to really and truly outpace Sony on so many levels. I don't think we see it just yet. We see it in the distance. If you follow the numbers, but this is a big deal, dude. My question to you, Umbra, how big of a deal is this? I think it's pretty major. I mean, you objectively, I guess, you have to look at it like, well, it's kind of like the mo only one that's really in stock, right? That'll be the takeaway people will go with. But I think it's pretty major because it had been talked about from Phil and others uh, at Xbox that this would ultimately be their highest seller. And it looks like it's starting to go that direction. Uh, I guess it's to be seen how long it goes. But uh, I think it's pretty major as well, Boom. I think also uh, there's more. There are more casuals now that have been turned to Xbox. That's that it. We, yeah, that we didn't know about. So I think the message of Game Pass is getting through. You know, it, it may seem like it's just a case of of this just being in stock or it's uh, – <laughs> As somebody on online said, one of the fanboys said, uh, "It's only selling because nobody wants it." I don't know how that logic works, but <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I think I think the casuals and the, the moms and the, the soccer moms, as everyone says, are starting to get starting to get the message, and I think it's starting to shine through. I think it's pretty big in, indeed. You know, my question to you, Umbra, is this: You know, five years ago, ten years ago, when we first saw the introduction of a, a, a monthly plan in the form of Netflix. It was considered to be foreign, like people like Netflix. You know, what 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 is this a subscription plan? Are you talking about? I have to pay monthly for this. I could just go watch cable. I already pay. And then slowly but surely, right, we started seeing the casual audience get hip to the Hulu's, get hip to all of these streaming services. I think I guarantee you poll anybody in this chat and we have over 330 people here. There's going to be a subset and potentially more. I could guarantee everybody on this panel has at least five subscriptions outside of game pass that they pay for, you know, regardless of what that may be. I think what you're starting to see is as maybe, maybe they don't know what's in game pass but very similar to Netflix, very similar to Amazon Prime and Hulu and the rest of all of the, sub, the sub, uh, subscriptions that we all pay for, the Apple TVs, you name it, parents are starting to get hip to the fact that, wait a second, I heard my kids, talk, my kids talking about this 200 games in here, and if they see that, these parents don't got to go out and buy a $60 game. They can go out and buy a $45, a three-month $45 pass, and if they're savvy, go do what we did, pay 24 bucks for it, and their kids are gaming with unlimited amounts of games. Do you think maybe that could be the reason why the S is selling simply because it is the box that plays – it's a digital box that plays all these digital games? I mean, I think it factors into it, but – I think it's just a matter of it. Uh, it's a few things, right? It's never one thing, I suppose. But 
I think the it being there, being uh, available is one, but also the fact that uh, I think digital is the way of the future. And it, it seems to be the fact that most people will, at least casuals, will turn to that versus a, of actual physical nowadays anyway. So I think yeah. it all plays into one another. Well, the, the younger generation, uh, I, I mean, I, I, no, no surprise here. I mean, I'm the old man in the room, and I, I, I've gone digital mostly. Like I said, I only bought physical because they were a third of the price. I'm not going to pay $60 for one when I can get three, uh, you know, hard copies. It's ridiculous. Um, but I, th I think you're onto something. You know, I, before I bring in Kay Asante on this, because you guys had a really – excellent conversation i gotta bring in the slanderous one because you don't think that this is that big of a deal simply because the infrastructure for the united states uh, and i i clarified this with uh well with Kay asante earlier when we were playing some halo uh, this afternoon the united states folks you didn't know when it comes to infrastructure on online we're 13th in the world which is pathetic, considering that this is supposed to be the greatest country of all times. Uh, Hopefully, and they invented the, the internet, railways and the uh, electrical grid. But that's yeah. That's, uh, well, let's, that's, that's, that's a conversation here. That, for another day. Yeah, one hundred percent. But w w w let me ask you something. On, 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 obviously, this is going to be a two-sided coin for you. Is it a big deal for Microsoft getting out there and selling through their stock? Now, granted, I would I would agree with some people saying in the community that they probably pumped out way more S's than X's because obviously it is the cheaper console and they know it's going to move the cheapest console. It's one of those impulse buys. You're out there, you're shopping, you hear about video games, next generation. Your kids are probably saying Xbox, the same PlayStation five. And you see this little, this little, this little baby box that looks cute. That may that that can fit right under your, your entertainment center, no problem. Three hundred bucks. This is great. People are going to jump at that. But w w what's your take on this? Okay, so uh, if you are an avid listener of the Gaming Circle podcast, you will know that Mr. K. Asante and I, or um, uh -huh. try to remember the name. Yeah, go I'm ahead. trying Keep to trying. remember. Damn it. Move on, Damn sir. It. Move on. Uh, <laughs> No, um, Sour Puss Asante. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There we go. Jeez. Um, we have been going back and forth about um, the long-term play of the uh, Series S. And uh, Mr. K. Asante is very bullish on it. And I would say if the box is designed as a casual, a machine for casuals, a.k.a. a good enough machine, my argument is that by the time it matters, cloud gaming will be good enough, thus rendering the Series S redundant. I don't, um, so, I don't know so, so much so, about that, but okay. So, so that that is the argument that I've that I've been having because K. Asante is not as bullish on cloud as I, I am, and I am not as bullish on the Series S as Mr. K. Asante is. That's that's a, that is a, effectively our uh, gentleman's debate. Now. That being said, um, I did not. Um, so I, I so I think the Series S has been on shelves as of late, and that could be a combination of if you are buying a Series X right now is because you are a hardcore fan, um, or and, and so therefore even if you see both in the stores, you are going to gravitate towards the Series X. So maybe more people are buying that, or Microsoft knew that they produced a box that is easier to source parts for. Mm. So they are able, because it's not, it is not just the, uh, the SOC like that, that could be hard to source parts for, right? Like the, the, um, the hard drive is a little bit uh, slower. You, um, you may get a better yield rate on, on the SOC itself. The memory is probably a little easier to find. There are a lot of Less factors of that, 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 yep. that, that, that go into why this thing may be easier to mass produce. That is also not to mention the fact that they're using the Series X silicon to put into um, the server blades, data, right? Data centers, yes. Right? So all that being said, the, the Series S has been on shelves. 
But that is exactly what you want at a time when people are buying. This is not a bad thing. This is economics 101, right? I've, maybe people didn't take that class in high school, um, but um, you are a um, you provide a service or a good to a consumer that is looking for said service or good, and they will buy it, and supply will meet demand, and that is exactly what we are seeing now. So perhaps while all the hares, as in tortoise and hares, were <laughs> laughing at the Series S, saying, "Oh, no one you wants included. this thing." Right, right. <laughs> now um, they are. What, well, no, I'm not. My 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 issue with the Series S is the long term viability, uh -huh. but that's neither here nor there. Um, uh -huh. But while everyone was laughing that oh, it's on shelves, I've I've seen so many people that thought they had an interesting uh, idea that oh, look at this, I'm taking a picture of a Series S on a shelf in Yugoslavia. Right, <laughs> like so many people did that. Like, okay, it's on the shelves, which means it's a product that people can buy. And now, while everyone was laughing at that, people walked into the store and said, "Hey, it's on, it's the, on the shelf. Damn store shelf. <laughs> Let me buy this." Right, and so now people buy the thing that was on the store shelf that you are laughing at. How dare mm -hmm. they have this on the store shelf? That must mean no one wants it. No, they were getting ready and now they have it available and guess what friends that are 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 and i use the term friend extremely loosely of course of course <laughs> uh, guess what this chip shortage has been predicted to last into 2023 that is correct sir okay. march and guess what will be on shelves yes readily available for people to buy and before you know it when you have a product that no one can buy right because because the bird in the hand is better than two in the bush, as they say. <laughs> right. So now you have a product Damn. that is in people's hands available for them to buy. And that is the gateway drug, baby. Yeah. You can have this one. But when you come back, it's 500 bucks. That game it's five. That's you're right. going to have to get that Game Pass subscription. Everborn started to sound like a pimp right there. <laughs> oh, you gonna I'm come back, baby? I'm just selling my inner film. <laughs> Don't you even worry about it, baby. You're going to be back. Oh, my God. I love it. I'll I love see it. you soon, player. But listen, you know it's going to be a great You know it's going to be a great podcast when the words P-I-M-P -P jumps into the conversation. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so, 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 so the point is this happens now, and yes, I do think some of the victory laps are a little premature because we don't have the NDP numbers for this month, right? Yet, well, we'll right? have next month. Yeah, in we, we will. Yeah. We, we will. We will. We will. We will. <laughs> Mike Lowry says I'm sounding like Goldie because <laughs> when Game Pass got a gamer, they oh, got boy. a gamer. <laughs> no. Oh, stop it. <laughs> um, but the, so the point is the, the 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 point of all of this is I'm saying. Like, be careful of what you make fun of, right? Yeah. Because all this time when people are paying $1,000 for PS5s and Series Xs, the 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 uh, Series S is going to be right there. The Series S is like the girl in the rom-com movie that was right in front of the guy the whole time and has <laughs> been his friend the whole time. And then in that last uh, act of the movie, she takes off her glasses and pulls out the oh hair and does a slow motion wind blow. <laughs> and she's, oh. she's been there all the world. Yeah, the, music, the music starts kicking in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can, <laughs> folks, you can tell he is a writer because, so, <laughs> damn. So so cue the chase scene at the end of the love movie, the, uh -huh. the, the, the rom-com, where you have to go run after your love. And people will end up over the course of 2022 and however far into 2023, the Series S will be what is available. People will get that, and they will now be exposed to something that they may have been writing off. Because what you don't understand, or what a lot of people don't understand, is the Series S as it stands today. And K. Asante, I understand that you're laughing about all this. I get it. Because you and I go. I'm just going to hit forth. record and play back every time yeah, we have this argument and use but your what, argument against you. What, what, what people don't understand is that at that price, see, if you look historically at when councils really hit their stride and they get into that 50 million, 100 million range territory, 
that is when they hit 299, right? The yes. 360 launched, there were two versions of it. This was their highest selling console. That launched at 299 and 399, right? Uh, the PS5 did not really overtake the Xbox, not li like it overtook it, but not that two to one thing until they were able to hit that 299 and below price tag. Any market analysis will tell you that. So they released a box at the 299 price point to get their day one instead of waiting until uh, they could cut costs. And you may not be able to cut costs anytime soon because of this chip shortage, right? If if the, if if there is a chip shortage and there's hard to source source parts, you will not be able to cut your manufacturing costs. Just again, supply and demand at the larger scale uh, on the manufacturing level. So um, so I, the last thing I will say is um, they are already at a mass market price. And when they are able to do a price cut to 240, 279, 249, 199 during the holidays, this is when it is stocking stuffer uh, yes. territory, yep. right? And all this time they're seeding the market, seeding the market and so many people have a switch already and nintendo is hell-bent on not giving people a switch pro this will be the thing that people will buy because people just have to buy sh shit. so wow. they will buy that it will introduce them to game pass and once you introduce the game pass you're hooked yeah well and, and, there's, and that's there's... it and that's why they call it earlier today uh shout out to xbox uni he called it the Trojan horse. Ah, uh, well, you know something. I I, I don't want to you know put it, put him in the outhouse because I love that dude. And as a matter of fact, we're gonna get him on the show. Uh, we're working uh, to get him on the show in, in, before the end of the year for sure. I actually called it a Trojan horse yes, back in twenty twenty. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I was I, I was one of the first people to say this is Microsoft's Trojan horse to get get out there. And you know, Mag, I'm gonna bring you in the conversation. Here's the thing. Yeah. When you see what Microsoft was up against, the market leader in Sony, take nothing away from what Sony has done and what they're going to do. They're over the shoulder, AAA bangers. They're coming, folks. Yep. Uh, we're, get, we're getting one early next year in Horizon. I can't wait to play it. I got the collector's edition pre ordered. I'm still, you know, I mean, some people are like, you know, boom, hold out hope, Kratos. I don't see I don't I just don't see Kratos until 2023 March same thing they'll do like an anniversary kind of a launch as opposed to when uh it released in uh I believe it was 2018 I think it was yeah. so they'll just be 3 years that's fine um but with that said mag Microsoft has done something that they have been chasing. They've been chasing the casuals for quite some time, right? The 3 billion gamers, right? Everyone laughs at Phil when he said that. They literally poked and made fun of him. Ah, you're not going to get everybody. But I think this 299 mass market game pass scenario, when you talk about the world being the way it is, People are still not working. People are still finding hard to get work. When it, gaming is expensive, but when you factor in a three hundred dollar <throat> console, and you factor in, hey, we'll get you in for a dollar for three months of Xbox Game Pass, and you see, you know, three years ago uh, when Game Pass released in the uh, in, in twenty seventeen in the summer of twenty seventeen, people was like, it's just going to be filled with cannon fodder, but this year is a perfect example of holy shit microsoft has games and they released back-to-back triple a bombs in forza which you see on your screen and halo which you're going to see in the back end of the program have they arrived Matt? yes and the thing is uh i'm going to say that uh you know when, when, when people are saying oh we didn't see this coming and this and that i think we did see this coming but we were supposed to see this coming last year. Yes. The only problem was the pandemic had other plans. Yep. And that being the case, what ended up happening is that everything got delayed a year, right? Because remember, we talked about this on the show, like six months before the console released, five months before the console release, we're like, man, they're going to produce double the amount of the Series S's over the Series X. And they're just going to be – people are going to be ripping them right off the shelves, right? Yep. And I'm like, okay, this is what's going to happen. And then guess what? It didn't happen. There was the shortage. Uh, then the pandemic. Stores were closed. 
people weren't going out. It was a disaster. Now, fast forward a year later, what ended up happening? Well, Microsoft made their move. And it's exactly what we said. We've been saying it on this show over and over. They were going to produce way more Series S's than they would be than they would the Series X. Obviously, they're not going to stop producing the Series X because people want, you know, the absolute top quality, whatever. And they want the most powerful this and the most powerful that. That's always going to be an option. However, we always knew that the Series S was going to be uh, put in production way more. Now, the thing is, if you look at the, the situation like what's what's going on right now, you got the casuals, you got the kids, and more importantly, you've got the parents and the parents with money. Yep. Now, think of the PS5. We're going to ignore the Series X for just a second here, okay? I'm just going to talk about the PS5. We want to talk about direct competition. If you want to play one game, on a brand new pay, uh, PlayStation 5, it's going to cost you $600 plus tax. That's if you're able to find it for regular price. Right. Let's just say for argument's sake. Right. Okay. Let's just say for argument's sake, you just happen to there just happen to be one on the shelf. You're going to buy that, that console for 500 bucks, and then you have to buy a game for 70 bucks, 80 bucks, whatever it is, right? Okay. You're talking $600 price wall a very yeah. high wall yeah for one lousy game and i don't mean lousy game is in like the game's lousy i'm just saying for one game okay one measly game you look at the across the pond and then you've got a 300 dollars console and then for a dollar you can not play 200 games not 300 games folks 500 plus 500 now. games yeah okay but what else does that dollar get you for that three months that dollar gets you halo that dollar gets you Forza. That dollar gets you all the highest rated games that came out in 2021. Yep. That gives you kids games. It gives you platformers. It gives you games that maybe they've never seen before. Yep. All right? Like, let's say you were just a PlayStation guy or just a Nintendo guy. You never played any Gears of War. Those are all new to you now. So it's not 500 games you already played and then just the one new one. For a lot of these people, this is all new to them. So therefore, you've opened the you've opened the door to this whole world for these people for three for half price, basically, right? And the way I look at this is that uh, we have to we all of us have to stop thinking in what's now basically the only people doing the the only people left doing this are the Japanese companies are doing everything is dependent it's, it's hardware it's hardware dependent you know what I'm saying? So they are dependent on selling consoles they are dependent on selling. Uh, uh, their, their media, okay? Whether it's physical, whether it's digital. But they need those consoles out there. It's the hardware they require. Whereas now, when you look at everything else, and like I said, every single other entertainment medium out there, the engagement is the metric going forward. Now, I'm well, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because, yes, this is a huge win for Microsoft. I, I just think it's a big win for them. And it's great. Because what it's doing is that you're putting consoles in the home, okay? So what's that doing? It's it's uh, it means more subscriptions to Game Pass. It also means the mind share starts to grow. You know, Johnny goes over to Billy's house. What's that? Oh, that's an Xbox. That's an Xbox series. That's the new Xbox, right? That's how that starts, right? And then you look at things like that, right? So now the other thing I was thinking about also is 2018, the Spider Man. When did you know uh, Everborn was just talking about it a moment ago? When did the PS4 really take off? It really took off. When, when they bucks. had the 2018, uh, the Spider-Man 199 Black Friday deal. You remember that? Yeah, sure People do. People were buying six, seven at a time. <laughs> you mean, Like I saw sh literally shopping carts filled with like the Spider-Man PS4s at 199, right? And that's when it really started to take off there. Uh, also think about this, like the PS3, for example. When did the PS3 take off? The PS3 took off when GameStop had that tra trade in any 10 games that will give you a PS3 for free. That's when it really took off, or then it, when it went down to half price. What is the Series S right now? It's a half price on a PS3 was still like seventy five hundred dollars. <laughs> so um, stop. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. But if you look at like the Series S, what is the Series S right now? The Series S straight out the gate is essentially half price. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to wait for a deal. You don't have to wait till next year. You could buy it right now. Yeah. For that and, price. And, and and what's crazy is you can find it on and the you shelf. You can find it. And yeah, now one it one thing, Mag, people I think are buying it, even though they still have plans to get their PS5 or whatever. They're like, no, I'll no, get for this. sure. 
I'll get this for now. But one question, Mag, and this yes. is probably for everybody. When, and I said this on Saturday. Is, in fact, the Series S the main skew? And, and the Series X is just the, the one for the hardcores. That would... 100%. Yeah. I, you know, it's I, funny. I, that's, I, yeah, yeah, sorry, Mag. go ahead, Boom. No, no, no. Again, Mag, it's all right. Oh, no, no, I was just going to say, that's a hundred. I, I believe that's 100% correct. I that would, is the I would main agree. skew. Yeah. Uh, the Series X is what you would consider to be the uh, the premium product. Hardcore. Right? The premium that only a select, not a select few, but like certainly a far less number than what the Series S is going to sell in the long run. There's yep. no question of that. So and the Series I think S is the Camry on. and the Series X is the Lexus. Exactly. That's same exactly company, it. same thing. Right. The big boys will get the, okay, I got you. Yeah, that's, I agree with that 100%. And uh, the other thing is, too, is that, you know, people are thinking about, oh, well, it's not going to be powerful enough for this, that, and the other thing in the future. <laughs> well, why do you think they have the cloud situation going on? Now you're going to be able to use that box straight out the gate and just, you'll be able to stream these new, especially when those games come out. We're still talking like two years from now, three years from now. OK, and that's when the cloud, uh, the cloud gaming is going to get even better. And that being the case, what's going to end up happening is that this box will be it will be good all the way to the end of the generation. Yep. You don't have to worry about going, oh, man, you know, it's not powerful enough. I'm going to have to buy that Series X now. No, you don't. In fact, you'll still be able to play your Xbox one until the end of this generation, because that's essentially that. the box is just a vehicle. OK, to be able to. Harness that power of the cloud and move it through. Oh, and by the way, uh, boom, you were, you were talking about how the people laughed at Phil and this and that or whatever about uh, having the other console. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? They also laughed at him five years ago when he talked about the cloud. You remember that? You yep. remember how many people made fun of it? <laughs> Lots of the power of the cloud. What a joke. Well, guess what? That's yeah. what's taken over right now. And anyways, the Series S is going to be, uh, it's going to continue to sell extremely well. I think by far. My personal opinion, I think it's going to sell three to one. I'm saying it right now, three yep. to one over the Series X. That's yeah. my call. Those well, are really good points, Matt. Those good points right there. But I also want to point out, too, like you and and uh, Duke Everborn pointed out, when once the price drops, it's going to be game over. Once oh it hits God. that sweet spot. Yeah, <laughs> once it hits that sweet spot, it's pretty much over. It's going to start taking over in sales. And another argument I've heard was – well, it's only selling like this because it's available, or so they bought this because they couldn't get a PS5. Yes, you know. dummy. What? 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 What do you? Of course. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I'm by sorry. the way, sorry. What? When did Everborn become a Duke? By the way, was he adorned <laughs> when a, I was off or something? It's a spaces thing. It's a spaces thing. I know. Umbra, sorry, <laughs> you, you were saying something. Umbra, you there, brother? Oh, it's it's yeah. It's, yeah. Finish your it's point. So, well, I call him Duke because we mess around in the spaces. I call him uh, his, his astute observations on things. So he got the title. Well, of he's Duke. a businessman. We, yeah. we forget that. We forget that. The, you know, we know that he's a he, he's an apologist for Sega. He's a slanderer of wow. many things. And <laughs> I am but, a but on the back end of apologist. it, apologist. There's a difference, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There, there certainly the is. Yeah, he's firing yeah. arrows like Legolas right now. <laughs> the sire of the sire of Sega, the slanderer. Of the series, this. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're 100 right. Listen, K. Sunday. Before I bring you in, I gotta welcome in Tempest Sun, brother. Thank you so much for being here. We're gonna come to you in a hot second. Glad that you were able to make it. Wandering Dutch. I want to bring you into the conversation because last week you brought up a particular stat that I thought was incredibly important, and I think now we might see that stat go even higher. And we're talking about mind share. Now, last week. Your stat, if I if I recall correctly, was almost fifty five percent mind share of fifty seven percent. Fifty seven. Okay, there so there you go. Thank you for the correct. Fifty seven percent of mind share, and that's a big deal considering you know when you look at the one hundred percent. And what are they going up against? They're going up against PC. They're going up against the Switch. They're going up against the PlayStation brand. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Fifty seven percent is when you say Xbox. It didn't seem feasible last gen. Now you bring into the conversation that they have dominated. And again, for I read you verbatim of what Jez printed. And we know that Jez is legit. When he's out there talking, we are all listening because we know that he is the real deal. Where? What are your thoughts on this, dude? How big of a deal is this for the box? I mean, it's, it's a really big deal for this lovely box that we've got here. 
It's which you tremendous. which that, that that custom is just ridiculous. It's a tremendous a little re- box, tiny little box, tiny little thing, tremendous. Um, but it's you know what it is. It's we were obviously we were speaking about this on on um, the Game and Circle podcast as well the other day, um, and we've had we've had some good points. <laughs> to me, it's you mentioned it. You mentioned it right. The price point itself and the v- availability. Um, very much unaffected by the chip shortages due to its yo- uh, low yield issues compared to the big boys. Um, obviously, they've got a, a number of CUs completely disabled on that that they don't require. Um, so they've got a lot more headroom um, for, should we say, failure. They can also use um, failed um, parts from Series X um, mm-hmm. where some of the CUs aren't um, um, compatible for full X releases. However, still have many more CUs available to be able to put into a Series S. Um, so there is no wastage in that sense. They can use the Series S uh, or X parts on Series S and still have those same um, powerful chips that they need in there to to compete. Um, and of course, price point is absolutely key. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it's, it's over in the UK, it's £250. Um, just before Black Friday, I noticed an advert pop up from Microsoft and uh, put it in the chat there as well. Um, they uh, put on for pre-order the Xbox Series S Fortnite and Rocket League bundle uh, for two hundred fifty nine. Sorry, two hundred forty nine ninety nine in the UK, which is three hundred dollars. So Series S, Fortnite, and Rocket League all bundled in. You know what the kids are like by that, and the kids say Fortnite, Rocket League, Xbox on a shelf. They're going to be like, "Mom, I want that." Yep, Fortnite. Fortnite straight away. It's it's easily getting in with the bundle straight away, and it's a really easy bundle to do because it's you don't there's no investment in any of those games. It's already there for free with the console, uh, and the kids love that game. But as as Mag mentioned as well, as soon as that price drop comes, and it will come, I think personally, we'll see a price drop um, probably the tail end of next year. I think you could see it going into some of the sales, not permanent price drops, but some of the sale um, kind of quarters, whether it be holiday sales or um, things like that, like short-term sales for certain areas uh, where it will drop down to probably £200 UK. Um, so it will probably be about $250. Um, and that's when you, like you say, that's, that's when it's really going to take off. It's still full price now at 300 Um and it's already the, the highest selling console. But of course, availability helps. And the reason, and I think this was perfectly why Microsoft did this in the first place, well, Xbox, sorry, uh, was they knew about the the kind of manufacturing costs of the big boys, the, the parts that requires it, and also then looked at a lower end that isn't just going to be more cost effective for the consumer, but also more cost effective from them from a standpoint of, Right, this guy's going to be able to hold up. He's going to be able to hold his own. It's not going to be 4K. It's built around 1080p, um, but it's still going to have the same graphical um, performance um, to a point as the big guy. You're not going to be left behind. Um, it's going to be really just hold its own in in this gen. And again, with cloud coming into it even more, uh, it's it's not going to be left behind. I think as Mag mentioned before, the, even the Xbox Ones, um, etc. They're not going to be left behind now. You can literally just stream everything. Um, there was an update actually that came out just before the show there, uh, about an hour, maybe two hours ago now. Um, Tom Warren posted it on Twitter. Uh, an update coming out for the uh, Edge browser for the cloud gaming, uh, which increases the um, fidelity of the the video feed um, for streaming. So it actually is higher quality now. Um, on edge browser than it was before and uh, i think we'll see hey, more don't, implementation. don't forget those flashy names now it's clarity oh, yeah. boost kind of like <laughs> FPS boost, but it's clarity boost How How fancy fancy can you I, 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 have a, I want to I report have that soundbite by the way that was great <laughs> i have a question about that though like yeah mm-hmm. does this mean it makes more sense to play in the edge uh browser and oh, oh yeah baby it always or, edge, yeah. Oh, yeah. wait wait hold on oh, yeah. is the way to go does it mm-hmm. make more sense to play there or in the Xbox app? Uh, I would say the Xbox app overall. Say, Xbox app, but the Edge browser is, is the Xbox app going to have the clarity boost? Yeah, in future, yeah. Or will it need it? Yeah, 
Yes, I yeah. suspect yeah. it will need it. It will need it if if you've had a chance to play uh, cloud gaming or stream any cloud games on on the Xbox, OG Xbox, X One X, even the Series X. It does need a sharpness increase. It is a it is it's a nice, comfortable image, but soft. It needs mm-hmm. it need does certainly need a clarity boost. It needs a little bit of a res up cycle, um, but going forward it will get that. Of course, cloud is still very much in its beta. Um, they're going to continue to improve that over the years to come. Clarity boost is just going to make it so much better um, on on Edge browser specifically on PC. It is such a streamlined and smooth experience um, compared to the other platforms you can play on cloud. Um, but that's also a reason why Series S or the previous consoles aren't going to get left behind. Um, and it's just such a, an easy way to boost um, sales across the board for any platform. Um, if your kid can't get his hands on a Series S for some reason, because of its popularity, it could end up going out of stock at some point just because of its popularity and how cheap it is to jump into it. Um you can't get your hands on a Series X, of course, naturally, because it's it's one of the big boys. They are very hard to come by. Yeah. Uh, and then you've also got the ability now to go in, pick up a, a 1S or a 1X exactly. in a store and jump into the next generation of gaming because you've all just got Game Pass. So you're never left behind. Even if you can't afford to jump into the new ones or they're not available, you can pick up an older one, whether it be brand new or second hand. Uh, and you, you're good to go. You are good to yeah. go for for un- at least until those become available, and then people will jump in and, and purchase them. But now it's that is the key thing: never leaving anybody behind. The price point does it. Make sure people can jump in. Game Pass itself does it because it's cheap as chips to get access to 500 games on demand. Um, and now they're rolling out all these big titles. There is absolutely no surprise this thing's flying off the shelves. They're seeing. The, the the huge ratings Forza Horizon's getting. They've seen yes. the massive feedback that Halo Infinite's getting so far. They've seen all the the positive news. They've seen the big streamers playing Halo Infinite consistently. Uh, none of them have really been off it since it's been out. Um, so it, it's getting big news, big talks, and people want a, the easiest and best way to get into it. And right now, the easiest and best way to get into that is the Series S. That's right. So, absolutely flying off the shelves and rightfully so it is the master plan by by xbox they knew this all along offering two price points regardless of what people thought about the viability of its performance over long term uh, they knew they had the technology behind it in terms of cloud um they also knew about um uh super resolution um which is also going to elongate the the lifetime of of the series s um it's it is a win 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 for everybody involved. To be honest, even PlayStation players who do want to fork out for a Series X, they'll go and happily purchase Series S yep. just to get those games. Absolutely. You know, cl- uh, sorry, Dutch. One thing you were you were talking about, you were talking about the cloud and everything else. You know, even without the cloud or any other boosts, the Series S is still a beast. Yes, oh, and it's hundred like, percent, dude. And 100%. that's the thing that I, you know, I think we need to clarify that too, because it almost sounds like it's, it's, sometimes, at least it came from me a little bit, almost sound like apologetic, like, oh, you know, oh, well, the yeah. cloud will help it out. This thing is punching far above its weight, 100%. Uh, you know, and, yeah. a, and it, it's a beast in its own right, and in some ways, it's out, it's outperforming the PS Five. You know, so who else keep is that in mind, folks. Well, who else? Perfect perfect? Streamers, it's perfect for streamers because. Right. They connect everything to a monitor. Mm-hmm. The console still does 1080, 120. All yep. they are bothered about on, on streaming and on PC yep. is performance. They couldn't care less about how beautifully amazing it looks 99% right. of the time. Actual streamers and quality game players on PC look at performance over graphics. That's why CSGO is one of the most popular exactly, shooters 100%. on PC. There you go. It isn't about the graphics at yep. all. It's about the fact that they're getting 250, 300 frames per second on CSGO and they want to play that at its best. This little guy can do 1080, 120 frames. Yeah, it's uh, remarkable. No yeah, can, can I add a stat to that, though? Uh, and again, I'm not a technical wizard by any stretch of the truth, guys. Uh, but I am going to say that this little, the little system that could 
has more games that run at 120 frames per second than the PlayStation 5. FYI. That's what I'm saying. It's outperforming the PS5 in some regards. And I mean, that alone is remarkable that it's that it's basically half the price yeah. without yeah. a discount. Yeah, without yeah. a discount. I want to bring Just in Kay Asante into the conversation as soon as you're done. Dutch, please, by all means, continue. Yeah, it's, it's like I say, it's just it's just insane. Like, um, I am. It's it's amazing the amount of times I've played on the Series S over the Series X recently. Um, specifically, like I say, when we're do, when we're doing these big big team battle matches and things on Halo, um, I, I've played a lot. Like all of my big team battle games are played on the Series S. Like none of them are played on the Series X. Um, and it's just insane. Like it's I it is so. Um, should we say un? What is it? What's the word? Not undervalued. It's it's just a lot of people don't expect underappreciated. Yeah, <laughs> underappreciated. That's the one. Underappreciated, one hundred percent. It is such a great little console. It's tiny. It's quiet as all hell, and it works so well. You've still got all the good features that you get in the big Series X, like your your quick resumes and uh, the super super fast loading times. Most of the time, if you have a look at the, the actual loading times across the board, and that will be helped by the fact that it's lower resolution, it loads quicker than any of the other platforms for the most games. So yeah, it's a win for everybody yeah. involved. 100%. If the Switch could have 35-year-old tech in there, the Series <laughs> S should be fine. Let's just, I, I, let's just call it a spade. 100%. Yep. Asante, before I bring you into the conversation, I got to catch up with some of the Super Chats. There's been quite a few of them. The generosity continues. And, of course, Mrs. Boomstick and I are going to pay that forward this holiday, folks. We're giving away $500-plus worth of digital and physical gifts. We pay the taxes. We pay the shipping. All you got to do is show up for Breakfast with Boom, and it's obviously our very fourth annual Christmas with Mr. and Mrs. Boomstick uh, is again, it's our way of, you know, giving back to the community. And of course we do that through the super chats, the uh, Eagles fan 76 generous friend of the show. He drops a $2 super chat and says game pass. You stack until 2024 Xbox mini fridge locked. Yeah, dude, I, I didn't get one, but it's cool. I don't got the space for it right now, but I'm definitely going to get that in my man cave when I get one. Uh, we have a, a really nice, incredible uh comment uh that i want to read from isaac uh, Gent gentry he's uh he's, he's been a channel member for seven months he says boom thank you so much for this channel and the positive community i appreciate how you continue to put on new creators do it it's my pleasure uh it's an honor to do that and people trust me enough to do it i can't thank them enough and thank you for the compliment brother i'm glad you are enjoying it and thank you for being a channel member for as long as you have been there gentry uh danny passion official drops uh what does he say here uh what do you guys think about youtube not showing uh the thumb rate oh the I, thumb down button yeah, yeah. I mean, the number, I, I, yeah. I, I get six of them every show before I even before the show starts. It's just, you know, people, the, the, you know, when you start to do something that people like, you're going to get haters. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, Kirby Zero Louise, generous friend of the show. He says this after dropping a final zoom chat, but, 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 but availability, they cry. Yeah, that's right. Availability. Um, being in stock is king during the silicon shortage. Simple as that. Indeed, it is. Sir X Man drops an additional two dollars of gen says it's selling a lot because of Halo and Forza. No doubt. I mean, think about it. This is the only games that you're going to play on this. Winner, winner, chicken dinner for you, uh, for sure. Eagles. Hey, fan. by the way, can I just point out what a what an idiot, uh, know nothing, two and a half trillion dollar company to actually have a product on shelves when people are shopping. <laughs> Shame on them. <laughs> How foolish. They How should, foolish they, should, of them. they should just listen to these economics majors on tw in Twitter spaces, and then they'd understand exactly what to do. I mean, I, I could you, use that same argument against you and your Series S hate, but uh, hey, I'll just hey. keep it moving. <laughs> hey, God damn it. Shots fired, ladies and gentlemen. Shots get the win. fired. Duck for cover. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eagles fans 76 drops an additional two dollars super chat. He says, Goosebumps, the Halo live action commercial was straight uh, up epic. Dope. Oh man, oh yeah, yeah. we are going to talk about that on tomorrow's Xbox Factor podcast. I must have watched that short because yo, he was Master Chief was doing some work 
That and, was spectacular. And, and they stopped it just as he was going to hit them with the man. Watch man. that trailer. Listen, hats off to, of course, uh, Marketing 101 at Redmond. My God, they've been killing it with these shorts. If you haven't, if, you, if you're not subscribed to the Halo YouTube channel, you're missing out on all of the quality shorts. We're getting to learn a lot of what's going on. I think this is going to be a very special Halo for a lot of the story beats that we've heard Dealer and Rand and, and the uh, the Iron Lords and on Xbox ever talk about that it's it's an emotional story. It, it, it's a story that's going to have some darkness to it. I can't wait. And they're showing to you. Go check that out for sure. Um, you, let's you know, see. boom. On that, yes, even on that, you know, it gave me hope uh, for the show as well. Like seeing how they did that. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. yeah the cinematics. But I'm hoping the show lives up to at least that expectation. Oh, I, I think it's going. I think it's going to shot. I think it's going to surprise us how good it is. Honestly, I, I'm have, I have very high expectations for it because I think they know that it's got to. They got to do it right. I, this is, uh, and I hate to be this guy, right? I have no faith in that Halo show. Uh, and 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 I and I and I, and I say this new as title, the Doubter, one, <laughs> as one of the biggest Halo fans. Um, you know, it's my second favorite franchise, only behind Zelda. But the fact that Showtime pawned the show off to put it on Paramount Paramount Plus, the service that no one has. Uh, it, it's it, actually better known as CBS All Access, which a lot of people oh, have. Yeah, yes, great. a lot of people have CBS yeah. Access for sure. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Is it on CBS All Access? Or yes, is, yes. Yes. Hold but on a minute. Paramount Plus minute. just changed their name. That's that's all it is. It's a name change. Okay, but that's what Par Paramount Plus still, is. So you're saying CBS All Access changed their name? Is Paramount Plus? Plus. Yes. Or is Paramount Plus included in? Uh, no, no. It's the same service. They've just CBS changed their name from CBS All Access. Paramount Plus. No, no. CBS All, All right, Access is now Paramount Plus. Is, no one cares about that service. <laughs> and if it was a good show, Showtime would have kept it so that they could keep. Pace I, I, I think it might be that a money thing on how much production uh, cost it's it, 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 it is for the for the series. It, it's. What was expensive. the last time you watched a good show on C, uh, on on Showtime? But, but I'm sorry, not, continue. Not, not quite some time. But listen, let me, let me continue with the super chats. Uh, please, please, have. please do, please do. A good show. Just please continue with the super chat. So they wouldn't have let it go, and that's a, that's even a better point. If they had oh, nothing on stop the, it. on the on the on listen, the, the all station, I can say is that have, have, have faith, compadre. Have, 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 have some faith. faith. Yes, that's what I'm gonna say. Okay. The you, you remember, you remember, to remember Fright wrong. Night? You gotta have faith, Mister Vincent, for that <laughs> to work on me. I would love to be wrong, but I think I think you're gonna be pleasantly wrong, but. Let me continue. Sir X Men mm -hmm. drops an additional two dollars in the chat and says, "Why does everyone forget that EA Access is in Game Pass? No, no one forgets that. And, that, and as a matter of fact, they're going to be dropping Mass Effect in there uh, right before Christmas as an extra bonus for every or for all Hopefully. of us. Hopefully, yeah, and I have a feeling it's going to be uh, Pixel Bit G, a good generous friend of the show. He drops a five dollars in the chat and says, "Don't discount the power of the Series S when it uses the features it's designed for. It will punch well away." And we've heard this above its weight. Sure, um, let's see. Uh, Philly Eagle, generous friend of the show, he drops a five dollar super chat and says, "Another thing that's overlooked that makes the Series S great is that most gamers don't have TVs to get the most out of the PS5 or the Series X." That's a great, great point. There are still people still rocking old school TVs, and even some of the, I mean, they're getting 4K TVs, but they're, you know, they're 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 to, lower levels. To, they're, they're to not... quote uh, King David, is the it is the council for the TCL. TV owner. Well, may, maybe, maybe, but uh, Spartan Ghost 17 yeah. drops a five pound super chat and says, Open the book of X, and there's a new synonym for desert. PS5, PS5 has no games. Little Man Series S bodies, PS5. I can see the salt piles from here. Indeed, you can, sir. But listen, Kayasante. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we've been joking, we've been having a lot of fun with this. We still got almost 330 people here. I'm interested to get your point on this. Like I said, at the end of the day, this is a big triumph for Microsoft in a big way. I understand that there are not lines of PlayStation 5s and Series X on the shelves, but that doesn't matter because even, even if they were, 
I still think this would have outsold it at $300 because exactly yep. what um, the mag said, half the price of these consoles after tax in one game. Yeah, this indeed, is a three hundred dollars system. Right on the box is telling you Game Pass one dollar three months. People are immediately jumping into it. They're seeing not one hundred, not two hundred, five hundred plus games, and the biggest game of the entire year, the mm -hmm. face of the franchise known as Xbox, is coming out on December eighth, right before the holiday. This okay. is win 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 scenario. What are your thoughts on this 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 uh, incredible success? Yeah, I mean, I mean, all all the the panel members have been have basically uh, really really put it, laid it out very well, right? Uh, what I will add is first off that Series S that bundle that that Dutch uh, pointed out. There's a little nugget there that most folks seem to overlook. That is technically technically a price drop because not only do you get the the two games that are uh, admittedly uh, uh, free to play, right? You get Fortnite and you get uh, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, Rocket League. You also get a thousand V bucks and you get a thousand uh, credit for, for uh, on Fortnite, which equals about eighteen dollars. Yes. So same console, same price with an eighteen dollar discount. So technically, that's the first discount, the first price little price drop you can get that pays for your taxes we'll say you know yeah. a, little, a little a little bit there but yes that thing will fly off the shelf and i will say although no one can say that my, uh, microsoft saw the chip shortage coming they did see like uh, as some some people uh, fault them sometimes they do a lot of trending analysis they do a lot of forecasting i think i've said this before if anybody like go google it xbox hot chip conference You'll see a bunch of slides that show what what their motivation was for what they did. Usually, and 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 this hasn't. And I know Kirby Louise in the chat. He he knows what I'm talking about. A bunch of folks know what I'm talking about. Usually, when they're specking a console, they look in the environment and see you know what what they what you can expect in the next X amount of years, right? And based on what they saw is what why they made the decisions that they're making now. There's very little chance of a mid gen refresh. Why? Because they saw that DRAM prices weren't going to go down, even yes. though last time DRAM prices did go down year over year. So they were like, OK, you know, because we know they'll go down, we can do a mid gen refresh. So we'll make our make the chips that we put in a little conservative right now, because we know that at some point we can upgrade you and give you the one uh, X, for instance, okay, so this time you, around. Yeah, yeah go you, ahead. Do you think it's also a matter of diminishing returns as well with that? That's another key point. That's another very key point. You can't keep going to the gym and working on your arms. Eventually, you're going to topple over because leg day needs to happen as well. You understand what I'm saying? Do you even live, bro? <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? And all of that was taken into consideration when this was built. Now, when they saw it, they saw DRAM prices not dropping. They did see flash prices, which are the SSD prices dropping so that's why they have your little flash cards right now oh it's a little expensive over time you'll see that come down dram prices on the other hand will not go down as much i think they they forecasted only five percent year over year whereas uh, uh flash price is going down 23 percent year over year which means hey we can give you more and free um, uh, uh cheaper storage down the line but we can't make sure that the dram will stay lower so we'll give you the best we can offer today Right. That's where velocity architecture comes in. That's why you work smarter, not harder. They don't have the money to put in the fastest super chips in uh, all day because they can't afford those prices. So instead, they offset it, velocity architecture. And that is the reason why the Series S will still shine for years to come. Because when the time comes and you reach that point of diminishing returns, it's not about, oh yeah, now the CPUs, uh, um, the CPUs overclock to five gigahertz or whatever, because yeah, you can do that, but you will, as, as Umbra keeps you know, pointed out, diminishing returns. You have to work smarter, not harder. And of course, Dutch has already pointed it out. You know, it's like the, for those who, the old school cats like me who remember the old, the old tech days, it's like Intel versus Celeron chips, right? <laughs> you don't throw everything away. You know, maybe your Intel turns into a Celeron and you sell it at a discounted rate. You have a lot more options when you have a smaller, less capable machine that is specifically focused for a specific point. You know what I'm saying? If you check it out, they saw all of that coming. And by that nature, since now we're in, in this world where, where chip shortages are our norm, 
this console benefits from that. And even at, at, at the end of the day, they, they actually even said that like, you know, um, AMD had been getting a lot more money from them because they were trying to drop a big, you know, a big shipment on people during this time. So we saw this happening. Even, even those that know the, the, the insiders were saying, Hey, pay attention. You're going to see a lot more Xbox drops. That's what's happening here. You know, you now, know, one uh, other thing, uh, go ahead. Okay, Asante, another thing, mm -hmm. a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people say that mm -hmm. you know um, they lucked into this thing. Nah, there's no, no luck here. There's no luck happening. in business, yeah. man. But but the thing is, they've always said that mm -hmm. year one, uh, or at least in the beginning, mm -hmm. again the hardcores are going to be the ones that buy these things. That but buy the console. Yes. They did expect the Series S to sell more. Phil yep. Spencer has even said this. So it's not like they were they yeah. were uh, the two tr two and a half trillion dollar company was <laughs> guessing uh, exactly. But just look exactly. how it lined up at the no, but time. That's, that's exactly my point. <laughs> right, right. This is what I'm saying. At the time when Halo and mm -hmm. Forza drops, right, mm -hmm. the games that the biggest launch ever for Forza, and now Halo's coming out, which seems like it's going to be huge by all accounts. Yep. The time when they've got their two heavy hitters, not just for Xbox, but probably of the whole year, right? Mm -hmm. These are the two heavy hitter games that can't that are co to come out for 2021. That is the time when they actually have the the product on the shelves for people. Now that you that, that actually lined accident? up a bit well for them. They, that lined up a bit well. Obviously, there's planning. I think there. that was strategic. You know, yes, think, luck luck is when. I Luck think is when planning meets opportunity. Planning meets it. opportunity. You know, the, just like yeah. they could have dropped it back last year, but then of course all that kind of you know nobody foresaw foresaw the 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 uh, the pandemic slash no, you know what, what, chip what I'm chip shortages. Is you know, they knew they knew a year ago that these yes. two games were going to launch. At that it would be time. it'd be advantageous and to bring them now. They had made yes. sure that there were more Series S's on the shelves waiting mm -hmm. for people. At the True. time when this thing launched, so yes, it wasn't, no, no, I'm saying it wasn't a mistake. They didn't, they didn't oh, wake yeah. up like this, or they did. I, I, like I agree. This, I, I, I completely <laughs> agree. Oh, and 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 to your point, uh, the, to your question about whether or not it's best to to do the to to do cloud gaming via the app or via the browser, uh, Pixelbit G made a very good point. Now I, I will give him the credit for that. Most likely, the 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 app is just a wrapper for the browser anyway, so all benefits will equal the same. Why recreate the wheel in two in instances? It won't show you the browser, but chances are when you hit that cloud button, you, it's just a wrapper for the for the browser that you're getting into I anyway. But there's a specific option that you turn on, and is that option in that may that the, most likely will be by default on when it becomes available to the mass to the mass public. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they create two different ways of accessing the same thing on the same box. They could just have reuse you met the same thing. Well, yeah, that, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> We're not now, talking about Xbox. I'm talking about Microsoft sure. and Windows. No, no, I get it. I get it. Now, to the point of it punching above its weight, right? All of this is to say the reason why the Series X, the Series S, I should say, will still be around and righteous many years down the line is for multiple reasons. One, even when the infrastructure in this country gets better, it will not be perfect everywhere. And yes. they need to be able to address the entire market, not just those who have ideal internet conditions, right? So the Series S will always be necessary. It'll always be useful. If you've played with Stadia, which by all accounts has still to this day, great 4K streaming more than most, right? They, are, they use that, that, that Google algorithm, that funny money algorithm, which says 4K, but realistically it's that YouTube 4K that has a lot of graininess that, that takes a lot of the, the bit rate out of it. You know what I'm saying? It's not the fat pipe that you expect. You know, they're, pause. they're, they're, what are you doing? What are you it, doing? Big sir? pause, big pause. <laughs> they are, they are literally doing their best to, to, you know, to show you the clarity without all the costs that it comes with. Right. And in gaming, that is difficult to maintain very 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 difficult to maintain so stadia like i have a gigabyte a gigabit connection it says 4k but you look at it and you go it's, it's getting there but not not really so the idea that they will one day be able to just say okay you don't need any other thing it's just on the browser that's it that is not realistic for everyone so right. the series s will always, always be able to do that. And and what is it? A dealer and the rest of them have been saying this to you guys for years. CPU resources cannot be scaled. GPU resources can, depending on the hardware you have. They've been doing it on PC forever, 
right? You get a, you, you have a, an old busted graphics card, you get old busted graphics. You put in a better card, you can tune it and make it look better. You can't, you can't do that to CPU. That's why when they build the games, they have to make sure they put the best available chips in there from jump in order for, for uh, developing, uh, when you develop the game, that you don't have to account for that. Because if you have to account for that, then you have to account for the lowest common denominator. That's the reason why the Series S CPU is very capable while the GPU may be less, less so, right? As the years progress, they will start working smarter, not harder, and that will keep the Series S alive, right? So even in that perfect utopia where the, 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 the internet connection is absolutely perfect, just like today, today, most people will watch Netflix, they have no issue. But if I'm watching The Matrix, I'm pulling out my Blu-ray disc because it still will always look better. And there are people who care about that, just like there will always be a market for the Series X, right? So those who clown the Series S just don't see what's about to happen. It's 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 going to be very well, funny I, in a couple of years I when still, they say, mm -hmm, uh -huh. I still maintain that I would rather a uh -huh. 399 all digital Series X because I don't buy physical oh and you know what hundred dollars and you know you know what and when you don't buy that extra extra that's fine they're ready to to to, to forego the deals for you you know they'll make they'll make sure you keep paying sixty dollars when everybody's paying I'm, this I'm price doing that attack. anyway apparently exactly you are but what i will say is that is not like it's not a a, a foregone conclusion that that'll never happen they are out there trying to give people options right so i can see a world where a, uh, an all digital series x shows up now i don't think that if they had planned on doing that i don't think we'll see that anytime soon now because of said chip shortage right it makes adding new SKUs into the market more difficult but i can see that instead of a mid-gen refresh that may be how they they are able to to discount the series x by dropping the the blu-ray uh disc from it that's that's still a possibility that can happen you know what i'm saying so it's just it, is this something that was foreseen of course it is it's like, you know, and those who don't see it are just being ridiculous. You know, I have my, my series S. I actually haven't plugged it in. Uh, uh, um, I just set up the new different desk situation. I haven't plugged it in yet. Uh, I, you will see me flossing and shining when my X screen shows up, when I plug that thing in and I can walk around with a little mini laptop playing my games all day. That is what that's for for me. In. Yes. Yes. It is definitely the Trojan horse. I believe it will continue to outshine all the other consoles in this market because they that is the device that can be made cheaper quicker than anybody else out there right uh, with all seriousness the x and the s uh, and the ps5 for all their differences they are pretty much not pretty much but they're pretty much built the same kind of way they have the same kind of resources so those chip shortages affect those two the same kind of way so enter the series s to sit on that shelf that people clown and watch Microsoft make all the money to the bank. You know, it is what it is. Yeah. Those who don't recognize that are either just fooling themselves or they have ulterior motives to, to, to fight the future. It, it is what it is. Yeah, no, I mean, great points from everybody. We got to get 10%, but real quick, got to shout out Lord Cognito, the voice, ah, yes. the uh, subtle voice of the Iron Lord 10K podcast. They drop a $10 which and says, salute to Lord Boom and all of my primetime brothers sneaking in while getting some work done. And yes, he is a busy man for sure. Abacab72 has become a channel member. Thanks a lot, brother. Definitely appreciate that. Tempest Sun, you, you, you got here. We're happy to have you. I'm interested to get your point of view regarding the Series S basically winning black friday for microsoft and xbox what what are your takes on this dude um <clears throat> so when i'm not playing a like multiplayer game with the wife i i am on the series x that's what i got first and uh there, there's no doubt about it that's obviously better in a lot of ways sure but um i've been playing battlefield lots of halo just about any game like that that you can play multiplayer and um i have a 1440p uh monitor and um because of that i literally don't feel gimped and it was a 299 box it keeps up and you know before like if i were to recommend something to somebody to buy i, I you know re recommend the x right uh, it depends on who i'm talking to i might just go right to the S and just say, dude, just get yourself an S, you know, because why not? Um, it punches way above its weight. It's a fantastic little machine. And they are 
they are in stock. Um, like if I want to go get another one, um, like we're thinking about getting an Xbox for the son so he can start playing stuff with us at the same time. And honestly, like I'm gladly get the S, you know, gladly yeah. get it. Um, a couple of my nephews this weekend bought one and um, they were asking about it. And I was kind of like, dude, just get it. There's like no reason not to. It is a phenomenal, you know, little machine. It does 60 frames per second. I'll be at a lower resolution. But like, if you can live with that, man, it's 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 amazing. So um, I, I expected this to happen. I think it's going to keep happening. Um, sorry, that's my dog. So, um, <laughs> you know, I, I just uh, I, this doesn't actually surprise me at, at all. Availability is a big thing. And um, I don't know if anybody mentioned it. I got here late. But amidst this shortage, what does that say about Microsoft? They must have spent way more on the chips or whatever, because if there's a shortage, they filled out their xCloud infrastructure with these chips. They have way more of these consoles because the S and then they also have the X as well. So um, I, I don't know. I, I guess they've just <laughs> they've been really busy building stuff. So, yeah, uh, yeah I'm impressed with it. But um, no, overall, like I said, everybody said it perfectly. It doesn't surprise me. And I think it's going to keep happening, honestly. So, um, you know, uh, the other thing too out there, too, is a lot of people just I mean, no, I know 4K TVs are cheap right now. That's just about all that's being sold. But there's a lot of people that are just perfectly happy with what the TV they have. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, Tell Everborn correct. that. People aren't yeah. changing their, their, their yeah. TVs like they change <laughs> oh, their phones. Oh, boy. Yeah. Huh? No, they, Come they on really now. Don't. Not okay. everybody's a tech head. Remember that. No. Yeah, not a tech head. Just because we, just cause we OLED yeah. and out doesn't mean anybody else wants yeah. to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I mean, know dudes rocking 10 year old like flat screens that are like, it takes like six people to carry them out like pallbearers yeah. at a funeral. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> break. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tell you, you know I tell you what, when you're when, unless you read up on it and you don't know these things, shopping for a new TV is like I mean, if you don't know these things, it's it's kind of scary. You see all these these like H- UK UK retailers for TVs. It is physically impossible to search by feature. Like Curry's is one of the main ones in the UK, and the mm. feature search on TVs is horrific. Like there's yeah. nothing for Dolby Vision, there's nothing for for all the like VRR. There's nothing right. there. You've got to do some real in-depth research yeah. before. So you if you don't know the stuff, you got to ask somebody who does. You yeah. Know? Well, my, my last point is there is a uh, – we are the smaller uh, percentage of, of – Oh, 100%. Gamers, the yeah. hardcore. Mm-hmm. And there are so many people that are the casuals. That's why the PS4 sold the way that it did. And um, did they care at the time what they were really buying? They just heard PlayStation. PlayStation was like the big thing at the time. It was the popular system. It was, it was the, the popular cool system. system. Now the 299 box that comes with free to play Halo and Game Pass. I I, I said this a million times. And it's eventually it's going to hit that point where the the casual word out there is get yourself an xbox that has game pass and, yep. and halo and everything else so i think this is going to continue to happen and uh you know kudos i think they i think it's well deserved it was smart of them so the, you know what I, I tell you right now as an xbox fan who had to endure microsoft making a bunch of boob moves early in yeah. 2013 <laughs> uh they kind of they kind of painted them, themselves into a corner mm-hmm. it is incredibly refreshing to see them taking the victory laps that they are. Yeah. Uh, again, taking nothing away from what Nintendo and Sony are doing or will do, because they're still they're still around. They're not dead. Oh. Uh. It's but, but the truth of the matter is, is that you have to tip your cap to Microsoft for continuing to just make 2021 mm-hmm. one of the best years in almost, and I would dare say over a decade of Xbox, where they, again, quietly have dominated the competition. And this mm-hmm. is another notch in the belt, so to speak. But and, I will say this. Okay, continue. I was just going to one more quick thing. And listen. Sure. This honestly is. This isn't This isn't just you know pie in the sky stuff. This is honestly just the beginning. Just yes, the beginning. Indeed, it is. And it's 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 so it's so right at the starting line, it's it's not even funny. Uh, we haven't even gotten technically speaking Halo yet. That's December 8th. And I uh funny thing is my wife has asked, she's like, Where's my Halo? And I'm not my son, I'm a Halo, my fable. She said, Where's my fable? I'm like, maybe a couple of years out. And she was like, What? She was like, you know, why so far away? She was like, Why is it gonna take so long? And she's like irritated by it. And, and I told her, she, I said, well, you know, they have so many studios, so many games coming out. I said, um, they can take their time. It's going to be amazing when it drops. But I mean, honestly, we have so much on the way that it's it's almost like, is this real? <laughs> you yeah. Know? So anyway, 
That's, that's my no, 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 no. Great, great, great point as always. Listen, folks, let me just grab the last super chat. And we'll get everyone out of here. Element OPO drops an outstanding five hour super chat and says this the only other place to play Halo Infinite at 60 frames per second on console is the Series S when the X is nowhere to be found. Indeed, that's a fantastic point. And folks, listen, I hope that you have enjoyed today's program. This was a laugh riot. We had almost 400 people here. We obviously introduced Umbra uh, to the program, to you. I'm going to get where you can find and listen to him uh, talk some more. He was uh, It was great to have him on the show. Umbra, by all means, brother, please sell your brand. Tell everyone where they could reach out to you on social media. But more importantly, what other shows are you on where they can check out the great logic bombs that you dropped today? <laughs> Again, thank you, Boom, for having me. I uh, appreciate you guys, uh, like I said, reaching out, putting that olive branch out for me and for other uh, small timers trying to make it into the game. Uh, Remember, brother, we all had one sub. Mine is Mrs. Boom. It's sitting right over there. My first sub, Mrs. Boomstick, folks. We all start with one. Yeah. I've seen some of the food you posted that she's cooked for you, oh, too. Yes, you know? And yes, she, puts her foot in it, she puts her foot in it. And I'm telling you, <laughs> I always say this. I married the right one. I'm the lucky one, not her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, just also for you guys, generous, um, being so generous over the years as far as your giveaways, things like that, too. You guys Thank are you, dope. Sir. So I just wanted to give you guys the appreciation. That's very uh, kind of you. It's just, again, it's, it's, we're not rich, but we, we do want to give back. We're fortunate and we're blessed and we want to kind of put that out there to the community. And I truly appreciate you saying something about it, but thank you so much. No brother. question. See, well, you may not be rich monetarily, but you can be rich in character. So you guys have that on lock. Thank you, sir. Thank you. But Absolutely. listen, what other shows are you on? Because I know you, uh, some of your other co-hosts were like, listen, you got to return Umbra in good condition. Hopefully we will do that. <laughs> Tell everyone where they can reach out, where, again, where they can find you on social media. But more importantly, brother, where could people listen to you talk about the gaming verse? Well, that was old risk it the for the biscuit there. That, that's right. <laughs> out there in Australia, my good mate. But so I'm on the Xbox uh, Infinite podcast i think he only brought me on that because on twitter i go by infinite umbra oh that's right so, infinite umbra indeed yeah. indeed so i told him though i told him in a uh, jedi knight peter i said hey well you know since i have infinite in my name and the, the show is xbox infinite i'm basically david ruffin and you guys are the temptations now <laughs> so i'm taking it over but uh um, <laughs> but yeah you guys can catch me on the xbox infinite podcast on fridays and saturday for the future people like the aussies and um on Twitter, you guys will find me always under Infinite Umbra or Umbra Infinite, whatever. And here on Twitter, you'll see me as Eternal Umbra. Yes. Uh, I just play on the name of Eternities and such. But uh, you often hear about me because you'll hear about me in the spaces. And my spaces are not just about talking about games. It's about it's about family and love and friends. I, I'm often singing in there. People have mocked me for it. But I have a good voice, so I don't care. That's right. Well, listen, you know what? If you ha if you have the talent, do not be afraid to flaunt it. But oh, oh no, not at all. I, I flaunt it all the time. Believe me. <laughs> uh, but if you I'm going to start having a karaoke spaces just to just to uh, bring up the community. And that's my way of giving back to the community as well. I try to build us up as far as they go. I try to keep it positive. And I will say I've gotten that from you from uh, guys like you, Boom. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank Absolutely. You. I know that you have a very positive outlook when it comes to gaming and, and you try to keep it fresh and, and clean when it comes to that. So, you know, I think that's rubbed off on me as well as like people like, you know, the RDX group, things like that. So um, if you guys are interested, you can find me, on, like I said, I'm under Infinite Umbra on Twitter. And please join in by all means. Give me a follow. Yeah, uh, all his information is going to be in the show notes. So you got to do is click it and uh, follow him on Twitter so you can hear his lovely singing voices that are coming to you very soon. So thanks so much for being here, brother. Definitely appreciate that. Wandering Dutch, please, by all means, tell everyone where they can check out the best beard in the business and also your incredible show you have on Wednesdays. You took off last week to play Halo. I think you're back this week. Talk about that, and where can people reach out to you on social media? Yes, we are back this week. I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. There's a lot to dig into, uh, a lot from the last week that we haven't spoke about, and uh, looking forward to uh, to having a good chat with uh, with my panel again and my brothers there. Um, the video we were speaking about just beforehand is now up and available for channel members. 
Nice, uh, indeed. So, uh, yeah, we got we got it with the, the 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 panel got an early look at it, folks. The 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 editing is just godlike Excellent. for real. Awesome. So that is yeah, it's available for channel members now. It'll be up until Friday, and then it'll go into premiere state, ready for next week on the seventh. Nice. Um, so quite a few days early, but it is ready and rock and rolling. So channel members, you've got it first. Uh, other than that, awesome show. Awesome to be on with Umbra for the first time here. Great to see you uh, coming up through the ranks as well. Um, awesome show in general. Uh, really nice, neat and tidy. Not too much slander going on the day of a born. <laughs> A little bit. I apologize. A little bit slander. I, apologize. A little bit slander. Apologize. I don't even say yeah, medium time. slander today. Uh, medium next time. Slander. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, great, great job. Obviously, look, I look forward to this every week. So it's uh, it's a pleasure to be on as always, and I look forward to uh, to next week again. Yeah, well, it's great to have you a part of the program, brother. We are blessed to have you here. So thank you so much for being here each and every week, and love what you bring to the table, K Asante. I mean, listen, your Saturday show is showing showing some incredible growth. And like I said in the opening of the show, there's a reason for it. Because you and Everborn Saga, like two brothers, may not always agree, but you put on a great show. And you always always have logic. Even if your guys disagree, there's always some logic there. Please, by all means, talk about the Gaming Circle podcast, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday mornings. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, this was always, you know, always the the highlight of my of my of my uh, Mondays. And uh, Everborn, I will note, I am still standing, good sir. I'm still standing. <laughs> wow. I keep moving. We'll, we'll see how those uh, knees are doing tomorrow. Pause. Hey, hey I, I'm, I'm bopping. Yeah, exactly. You better <laughs> pause that one real quick. I, I heard the singing chops. Can't stop. So you're gonna have to have. Oh, oh yeah, I used I, I used to sing in college. Don't even don't even don't even. All right, no. So. <laughs> so uh, I, I want to I want to thank Umbra for coming through. The man needs to become a voice actor. Somebody give him a job as a voice actor. He has the greatest voice. Hey, what, can Every I give time you guys I hear an it, idea so. really quick okay. for a spaces? I'm just Go putting ahead. this out there. You don't. I'm not Go charging ahead. for this. Please do. <laughs> the, the, the 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 first half hour is free. After that, uh -huh. it's going to cost you. But well, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Infinite Umbra, you may not know this about Mr. K. Asante. Uh oh. Uh, but he is a musician by trade. Uh -oh. uh, mm. Right now, what if there was a scenario where there was a spaces with you on the vocals and Mr. K. Asante on the instruments, mm, and you guys yeah, put but, something but together? Be delays and yeah, we, we, could, we could, could work, work something out. Think, we could work something, something out. Could be worked out. It could we be could work something out. I'm all for it. I'm in something. I want to hear him yeah. saying, "I'm still standing again, though." No, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll do the karaoke. <laughs> we'll do the karaoke spaces. You'll see me in there. But no, right. thank you all for coming to check us and check I'm us out. Man. The show has been great, and you will be you'll be there. You'll be there with the, with the little trampoline. And you'll be like playing and yeah, Everborn. You'll be there. Thank you all for coming to check out the show. Uh, as as uh, Boom has said, it's been so much fun. People have been coming in. You know the the chats the chats always lively. We I think we, we're having more and more folks like checking checking out live as much as possible. Last week, uh, Miss Miss Mr Mr Best Beard in the Business there came came and blessed us with his presence again. We had a great conversation. You know, and and people only been, his beard came. He didn't show up. It was just the beard. oh no, his, his beard okay, shows yeah, up he before he does. You know, you beard. know he's coming because the beard is there first. <laughs> no, but and the the chat, even the the comments have been so lively. People have been you know uh, uh, messaging me all week. We'll be having great conversations. So I really appreciate, it. and I mean that. You know, the feedback is always appreciated. You know, some cr uh, constructive criticism, some good stuff. Some you know, I I'm there for it. You know, because I want to make it better. And you know, Everborn is there with me. We're always doing it right if you're not following the everborn saga channel please do so he can get off I, my ass I, about it please pause, follow but, everborn damn. no pause because he's on my I ass about it. Eight, <laughs> eight subs away from 300 like can we oh there you go so this follow this man i mean there's follow 200 this people here so there's got to be eight yes. people to sub this yes. man please follow on yes Twitter. that's all it yes. is and, the, and you're not following you're not following to do him a favor because on thursdays when on the real shows up we don't keep it PG thirteen, baby. You like the slander? Oh, it's gonna be on this uh, this this Thursday. You're gonna enjoy the show. So By please. By the way, someone mm -hmm. I can't remember who it was on Twitter told me that I and our show on Thursdays were uh, the people to watch the meta narrative uh, mm -hmm. of film th that that the community needs. So I, I really appreciate it. It's a beautiful. You I'm know, people just come Mrs. out. Uh -huh. Boom just subbed the channel. There we go. There you go. Closer. 
There you go. <laughs> there you go. Out, she's like, she's just telling me she's sitting in the background. I don't understand. Why don't you tell oh, me this? Why, why am I? Why, why am I learning about this sitting here on the computer? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I but didn't even say it, anything we bad have, about Batman today. We have so much, so much fun on that on that show, both on Everborn's channel and on the Gaming Circle. Uh, I, I I put I put some some concepts for new logos. I was putting on. I put that out there. People giving oh, me some the, the giving me some cr some creative cr feedback with the nails. <laughs> the nails. <laughs> But we're working on that, you know. You'll you'll see a lot of upgrades coming throughout the year. We have we have a lot of plans to 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 collaborate with uh, a lot of great content creators in in the industry as well. You know, folks that you know and love. I, I won't say it all here because we're still working in the back end. But we want to do a lot of crossover oh. work with with. Working in the back end, okay. Pause, hard pause. <laughs> hard pause, man. Leave me alone. Anyway, <laughs> thank you all for watching. And I'm sure you'll see us again next week. Go ahead, absolutely, everybody. Absolutely. Mag, you got yes, something sir. coming up soon, my friend. I don't know what you're allowed to talk about, but it sounds pretty interesting. By all means, tell everyone where they can reach out to you on social media, where you'll be down and dirty tomorrow evening <laughs> with yep. Mr. Noof Nukem, who, which, by the way, is in the chat. And oh, also, he yes, he is certainly lurking. And, you know, I don't know if he's doing anything dirty, but that's that happened tomorrow night. Uh, <laughs> talk about it, Mag. Uh, well, guys, uh, thank you for another great show. Chat, you guys are amazing as always. Uh, Umbra, uh, thank you for joining us this evening, and it was uh, wonderful. And uh, let's uh, let's keep it going, folks. Support the little guys, okay? Let's thank you, guys. For, thank you, Mag. I forgot to tell you thank you earlier. I mean, you you uh, so graciously accepted me here. I forgot to say thank you. So thank you and, of course, brother, Dutch and everybody anytime, else. Man. Anytime. You're part of the family now. And let Indeed. me tell you something, guys. He has the key. Support, Just walk in and go right into the fridge. That's it. You know where everything is. <laughs> Just don't touch the beer on the left side. That's mine. Uh, anyways, <laughs> besides that, guys, talk talk about supporting. Can we get people to check out uh, Boom's X vlogs, please? Okay, they're Thank great. You, He's got three of them up already, and mm -hmm. uh, see that there's enough people in this chat right now. Go check them out, man. They're really good. A lot of hard work goes into these. Okay, I just I just watch them just after I got back in town uh, yesterday. Oh, so, thanks, brother. Appreciate uh, it. Yeah, of course, man. We're all here for that. And yeah, sub to uh, uh, to Everborn, please. Come on, man. You can't let Asante get all the glory. But anyways, guys, uh, we had a great show tonight. Yes, I do have some stuff coming up. I I have not been loafing on videos. I actually put uh, a pause on my videos for now for a very specific reason. Uh, but uh, I will get into that in the, in the near future. Mm -hmm. But yes, you can catch me here. I'm an artist. I have needs. Yeah, right. I have needs. Yeah, that's it. When the inspiration if he comes out with a blonde you, wig, I'm finished. dead. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, do I have to do that? It'd be like when the inspiration hits, you'll get oh. it. Until then, you can find me in the trailer. <laughs> Send dessert and three women. Uh, anyways, damn, and three uh, women. All right, well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> when I fall asleep, at least I got someone to talk to. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Mag uh, requires you to remove the yellow M and M's from his. No, uh, no. Obviously, <laughs> I don't like that color. Yes, I only want blue and gold. Uh, anyways, uh, guys, you can catch me here obviously every Monday evening, seven p.m. Uh, Xbox, uh, Xbox uh, Series X and PS Five. You can find me. I am the Mag, all capitals. If anybody's wondering and wants to join me for some Halo fun or whatever, if you see me playing Guardians of the Galaxy, don't bother me because clearly I'm just having you know getting into the narrative. But anyways, just kidding, guys. Tomorrow night, ten p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Gaming After Dark with Nuke Nukem and Titan Drago, and tomorrow night's guest is going to be the wise old gamer. And oh, uh, let me tell you, something. oh, for real. If anybody knows who the wise old gamer is, you are in for one hell of a treat tomorrow night with that guy. Lock up your kids, lock up your wife. You definitely don't want to be you in think the chat. Everborn's for that a one, slanderous please. one. Oh, He's nothing goodness. compared to the wise old gamer. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my God. He is something else. So, yeah, he is uh, going to be our guest tomorrow night. But, anyways, uh, guys, great show. We'll see you guys all next week. Thank you so much, brother. Definitely appreciate that. Everborn Saga, by all means, talk about your, uh, you know, your wares. Talk about the Everborn Saga. Seven days left of the Kickstarter. Where could people help support this project like uh, they did the first one? Well, you can do that right in the chat. If we 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 have hit our goal already, this is true. But we're trying. We have two stretch goals that we want to hit, and we're very close to one of them. If we hit the uh, first stretch goal. Everyone will be upgraded for free to a hardcover edition nice. of uh, Prince of Arcadia Ultimate Edition Book Two. And if you supported the first campaign, you know what the quality of that hardcover book is. Yep. So I, I want to be it. able to. I want to be able to give everybody that same quality for the for the um, for Ultimate Edition Book Two. 
Um, and if we hit the the uh, second stretch goal, which I think we can, because if we, if we finish the way we started, we can. It is doable if it, uh, with everybody's support. Uh, we will be able to bring in an editor so that we can finally release the uh, paperback novel. I'm nice. not talking about a graphic novel. I'm talking about an actual novel that I wrote myself. Just need we need a, an industry editor to come in and uh, fix my typos, so to speak. So. Um, yeah, that, that's what we would love to release if we can hit that second goal. I know a lot of people have been asking for the proper novel, and uh, it is written. We just we want to be able to complete it and release it so that it is um, something uh, worthy of all you guys support in the campaign. So uh, uh, that is the thing. And I'm Everborn Saga everywhere, PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, Oculus, uh, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. Uh, most importantly, EverbornSaga.com, and obviously on Twitter, I try to follow everybody who follows me, but uh, check out that uh, Kickstarter. The link is in the chat. I will put it in there again. Uh, just check it out, and if you can't support, just share it. That's even good enough as well. Yeah, so absolutely. Um, Everborn Saga everywhere, and uh, check out the Kickstarter. It's, I think it's probably our best work to date. Nice, nice. And last and no way least, The Tempest Sun. Tell everyone. Well, they can reach out to you on social media. Check out your Gundam channel, which is going to start back up hopefully in 2022. And of course, where can people team up with you and wreck shop in Halo Infinite multiplayer? <laughs> uh, my gamer tag is uh, Tempest Sun, and you can find me at the Tempest Sun on Twitter. And yeah, lots of Halo, uh, a little bit of Battlefield here and there. You know, I just can't completely give it up, but. Uh, but yeah, Halo's been good. About to start playing it actually right after the show here. So um, no, it's been fun. And um, I will see everybody next week. All right. Thank you so much for that. And of course, I want to thank all the super chats that have come in. Thank you so much for supporting the channel in a big way, allowing us to do the big giveaways. As again, at the end of the year, there's a big was another one uh, coming in the form of Christmas with Mr. and Mrs. Boomstick. That is our fourth annual uh, show. And, of course, I cannot wait to, uh, you know, obviously tell everyone what the prizes are going to be. But, of course, I'm going to close out today's show with something that is important to me. Hopefully, one day it will be important to you. And that's something that my dad taught us when we were kids. And he said, son, treat others how you want to be treated. And also, it doesn't cost anything to be nice. You live by those rules. And I can guarantee you're going to have an awesome day. So take care, everyone. We'll see you next week on the newest episode of Primetime Gaming with Mr. Boomstick and Friends. Thank <laughs> you.